Yeah, baby. Wonder if all my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithms. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis. Our information's predetermined by some biased business. We all in sermon to silicon that push out lovely neighbors. I'm done with paper chasing, think I'm on the bigger banquets. Miss that full circle, new wave, energy on a Tuesday. Turn a blue day to a bright hue, yellow with a smooth A in here. Extra fruit, hey, the brain. You can't move me, the music is man It's a con job, but This grand, I'm blessed with a great hand Amongst many that stink And yeah, it took some hard work But blind luck play a huge role And if they say that it don't Then they feeding you fool's gold And if I know one thing, the truth's home Even if it's a tough thing to swallow An even harder thing to hold And truly know with life is out while on the globe and even though that seems inherent It ain't always so apparent Dangle carrot, you ain't always gonna get it But don't worry, it's a pretty February In a year with more to carry And more days is yet to come Under the sun taking the ferry to the city Where the moment's extra pretty Like the people, like the idea that I keep inside my brain That isn't equal to the real world All that stress ain't saving me fear though I swear to God I'm trying But they pushing their demons down my esophagus Screaming the easy life, what I want all the ways Praise made up holidays, tell me that love is the answer Just to boost this economy Buy more, sell now, but I ain't following I ain't a hollow man, I'm full of them fall winds Take it all with a tall grin And if you feel it, do it with me and just sing with the song, say it all for what it is what it is, what it is, what it is It ain't all so big Hello, hello, hello. Hey, y'all. It's me. It's me. Dearly beloved. Listen, did y'all notice how Mr. Boss is just loves to hear that boom? He don't even let me get through with my hello before he's booming. Dearly beloved. Oh, God. Jesus. Anyway, we're going to get started. Y'all already know. Mr. Boss is here with me tonight, and y'all know he's always here. But anyway, thank y'all so much for being here. It is Monday night. Y'all know what tonight is. It's Monday night, and normally I'm here with my co-host, Black Man Unfiltered. But Black Man's traveling. He doing some different things. But guess what, y'all? I got somebody else. I got my other co-host, and y'all should probably remember him from I Choose You. Now... <laughs> Let me get this straight, though, because, see, some of y'all might be new. And y'all know YouTube time is like, <laughs> it goes so fast. But only a short time ago, me and this young man, let's go ahead and bring him up. Aaron O is here with me. Hey, Aaron. That's good. How are you? How are you? Doing good. So, listen, guys, if y'all don't know, about a year ago, me and Aaron O did a dating show, I Choose You. And y'all, it was exciting. It was fun. It was actually crazy. But if y'all don't know that, y'all got to go back and check it out. It seems like it's been forever ago, but it's probably really only been right at a year. I actually think it was this time of the year, last year. So y'all got to go check it out. It was fun. Uh, Aaron, you want to do that again sometime? I think we have to try it again. I mean, a lot has changed. Uh, I think YouTube is moving at a faster pace now. So I think we should definitely uh, put it in the uh, works. Definitely should. It got good, but you know what happened? You know, that was around the time that KS passed away. Actually, the second show was the day that he did pass away. So it was, you know, some things happened, but it was good. We had fun. But anyway, I just thought you, I tell you guys about that. If you all are in the comment section, y'all did not know me and Aaron have some history. Not even that. We go way back before Fight Club was actually Fight Club. <laughs> we were staying up all night also over on Anton Daniels channel having a good time. But anyway, I just wanted y'all to welcome Aaron to the show and thank y'all for being here because you could have been anywhere else, but you chose to be here with us tonight. 
And we appreciate you so much. Now, tonight, this show was inspired by a couple of things, right? Um, one thing the show was inspired by was just the, the overall place that it seems like this YouTube space, or I should say the world is in, where women are now saying that, you know, they've been so incentivized of uh, money. I'm gonna call it like, like I always say, money is their God. Money is the God now. And so many women are being incentivized to stay single. And I don't even think that we even think about that or how deep that could be. So tonight's show is featuring that. But the other night I was watching Aaron and Aaron said some things. So it makes me wonder, is marriage over? Are we done with marriage? Now, y'all know I'm the 28 year married woman that want everybody that wants to be married to be married. But Aaron got me questioning myself. No, 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 no. He ain't, no. But he's making me wonder what we can do. And he's, he's, he's helping me out a lot. Like he always do. He and Cheeky both get y'all all the praise. Um, but we're going to talk about this because he tries very hard to have conversations with women on his own channel and other channels often. And sometimes it's met with uh, resistance, but me, I ain't going to resist. We're going to, we're going to have some answers here. Look at Sherelle. I already called you big head. <laughs> hey, Sherelle. But anyway, Tonight's show, the title is Modern Women Are Incentivized to Stay Single and Is Marriage Over? All right. So I do want to say hello to a few people. Let me see if Mr. Boss allowed me to do that. But Sheree, what's going on with you? She's another one of our favorites that's always here. Mr. Gilbert, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, let's see. Is that it? Cora, how you doing? Dr. Steele, what's going on with you? It's so good to see you guys. Uh, Cameron? Cameron says, oh, shout out to the best YouTuber, Aaron. Oh, Aaron, they love you. Clement, what's going on? Hey, Susa, it's good to see you also. James Holman, it's good to see you all too. Uh, mm, damn it, Freddie. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it's good to see you leaked. It's good to see you bear. Hey, okay, listen, Vincent, it's good to see you also. Thank y'all so much for being here. We're going we to take our time with this show tonight. And we're going to try to come up with some answers or at least some, um, I don't know. We're going to talk about it because it, it's very interesting. So, Aaron, what you think about that? I know I got, I told you already, I got this from your show the other night. If you want to kind of give a little more introduction on what you were talking about or the title of your show, because I didn't say it. So tell me a little bit before we jump right into it. Uh, well, essentially, I'm just noticing what a lot of these conversations when it comes to relationships uh i've talked about it in the past remember i told you where this this gender war was but i've kind of elevated into less of a gender war and more of a relationship war i don't look at it as gender anymore i look at it as a relationship so what i've noticed is that and you know me and cheeky we do a lot of shows together and we just spar a lot we bounce ideas off of each other and i've just found that a lot of research that i do and it's just honestly relationships have to change and there's just no way around it because the people are different. The environment is different. The demands are different. The desires are different. And we haven't figured out what that remedy is. And so right now what we're seeing is people struggling to get to the top of Mount Everest because we don't know how to climb. And so what I've noticed just speaking to a bunch of women is that marriage is not the thing. And that's just where we currently stand. And there's a lot of reasons to why they feel that way. And the thing that is lost is that we spend a lot of time the last 20, 30 years focusing on empowering women and moving them forward. And in that process, we left boys and men back. We no longer continue to build them up. We just, oh, you're a man. You just figure it out. Just figure it out. No longer just focus on continuing to build them. They get left for dead, essentially, because men are ruthless. I'm no different. You know, you're going to drown. You're going to drown because that's the life we have to live. But that's what essentially happened. And what we're seeing is guys like me and Cheeky, we're not playing by these old rules. The old head, the OGs tell us, hey, you young has got it wrong. This It's the same game. It's just a different players. We're like, y'all believe that if y'all won't, but we're going to try different rules. We're going to try different things because we don't believe that that's going to work in this current time. So you guys still on those uh, dial up AOL and we, we on a different uh, Wi-Fi right now. So that's what I'm saying happening. So listen, since you brought up that part, we're going we're gonna to get to the videos. But since you brought up that part on your video the other day, I think it was Sunday. No, it couldn't have been Sunday. It must have been Saturday. You mentioned that, you know, 
the, the game is changing. I'm going to call it a game for lack of better words. And you said that a young lady, uh, I think it might have been PhD, but I'm not, don't quote me on that. But I think what she you asked her or she asked you, what is it that you all want from a woman, right? And then um, you said the things you mentioned, believe it or not, those things defined a wife completely. It actually combined, com it actually defined a traditional wife. I don't know if you knew that or not. Because what you said is you wanted her to be sacrificial. You said you wanted her, and this was a play on words. I knew where you, where you was going with this, but you said, I wanted her to uh, pick a man below her, or beneath her. And for me, that, all, that just says that his uh, job or his career didn't matter. You, want, you wanted them to see you for being a man, not you particularly, but you wanted women to see men for who they are and who the creator made them in the very beginning in authority. So even though you were kind of joking and you weren't talking like I'm necessarily speaking, what you were outlining was a wife. And what I see now in today's time. Well, let me ask you a question. Would you agree with that? And am, am I wrong about that? Didn't you say that? I think I have that on tape on video I, also. I, I, <laughs> you know, I stream a lot. <laughs> you uh, do. I said something of that. So what, what it was was I said we've evolved. We're in a different state. So women are here, they have to make adjustments. What are you willing to adjust to? And so if you if you want to do, if you want to be in a position that men have had, right? Because it's always men do it too, right? That's how I take these conversations. Men do it too, but when it's convenient for them, oh, you're a man, we women, we don't do the same thing. So it's funny, pick and choose when it's both of us can do it and when only men should do it and when women should do it. So I just present, I'm saying, okay, we have evolved. What are your demands? What do you want? And what is necessary? And this is what I think men this is, she's like, what do you think we should have? And I just simple things, you know, that I know that's not going to happen. And, and obviously it's just spur of the moment things that I'm thinking on my head. It wasn't overly thought. And just to kind of conjure up a conversation to see where her thought process was. And what you'll get, honestly, is that, nah, we'd rather not have a man. And that's just <laughs> but those things that you conjured up, those were definitely adjective of, adjectives of a wife. It was. Because you said you did, you said she wants she needs to be sacrificial. She needs to uh, pick a man below beneath her. She needs to uh, have kids and and sacrifice for the better good, which is the family. That is a wife. So whether you were being sarcastic or just thinking at the top of your head, knowing she would say no to those things, I don't really know. But I happen to think that is what most men really really want. And I know you said it in a way that was kind of you know funny, but. It's still it's still the same thing. That is what a wife or what women were made to do. Well, initially. ultimately, I wanted to get to the conversation of what's more important, being a parent or money. Right. And I wanted women to just be honest with it. And what I found is the truthful answer is first, money. it's money. <laughs> money, right. They're going to lie and say we want security. We need to feel safe. And they're going to do all this other BS. But ultimately, they bought their money now. They are about the money. Let's talk about that. Let me show. Let Mr. Boss play this first video. And um, this is going back to the being incentivized. Now, listen, guys. Um, I did a little bit of research. It's been a it's been a while back, so don't quote me on all these numbers. But I was looking at something, and I, if y'all know SS, uh, let's say no to low income individuals, women with children that may or may not live in projects or whatever you all want to call them, incentivized housing or what have you. Um, they can get up to $3,600 a month from SSI. And they also can get SNAP as part of a program. And they also can get housing. They, they, can, they do and can get enough money to live without a man. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be outstanding living, but they can. And also, I came across a video. Actually, I think Black Man sent me this video. So I got to let y'all see this video because... This is what's out there now, and this is what other women are telling other women to do in order to um, make more money. So look at this video. So my last video on child support went a little bit viral, so I'm just going to break it down for you. A lot of people's comments was like, your dude's only making 20000 a year. So I changed up a calculation for you. This is what happens when your baby daddy's making 75000 a year. 
Ladies, listen up. This is why you need multiple baby daddies. If you have six kids with the same man, he has to pay you 34% of his income, which is $2,125 a month. If you get six kids with six different men, you get 17% from each one of them. That's $1,062 a month and a little 50 cents right there. Now, if you multiply this by six, because that's how many baby daddies you got, that's what you get per month. $6,375. Y'all, that's over $75,000 a year. <laughs> and you thought you needed to have one baby daddy. No, you got yourself a nice full-time job. What are you waiting on, ladies? So, Aaron, <laughs> let me make sure I correct something. If I said $36,000 a month, forgive me, I, I'm saying $3,600 a month in SSI, and then you have... SNAP program, you have housing and a lot, a couple of other uh, benefits or incentives that they do if single moms or um, families with no to low income. That is what they can actually, those are the benefits that they can actually use and not have a man in the home. Now, sometimes men actually can live in the, in the home with them, um, but typically that is based on some sort of disability or what have you. But did y'all just see that video? See, um, Aaron, I played that video because in your Saturday show, you mentioned that um, welfare and the SNAP program and things like that used to be enough for them to live off of. And they was just happy to have the baby and, and maybe get the man or whatever. But look, not anymore. That's what you said. They are maximizing. This lady said have six kids by six different men. You get more money and you can make up to seventy five thousand dollars in a year. I, I don't know just how accurate the information is, but I follow the thought process. The fact that somebody's thinking of a strategy like that is more than the point of it. Forget the money, like the exact numbers, right? Because that's up and down. That can be, you know, manipulated. But the thought process is think about a different strategy. If this happens, this happens, because we do know things are ran by percentages. Those numbers may be a little skewed. We don't care. But the thought process of that woman is, I'm going to utilize the influence that I do have on women because women are highly, very easily to influence. Women are very easily to influence. Very, very. They need, they, this is why when women with brothers, they really value their brothers when they're close to them. You can tell the difference between a, a woman that has a brother that she's really close to and how she operates and a woman who don't that are not close with their brothers or, th or you know, somebody, a, a figure like that. That's common. So I, that's all I really saw was like, yeah, ladies, think about it like this. And project it. And there will be women who don't want to do anything like in the sense of I don't really want to work, which is fine if you believe that's how life works. But they're going to look for strategies in which they don't have to do it. And she's giving one, unfortunately. But and noting that the um, federal government is geared towards women and against men in his child support system, then more than likely she'll be able to uh, make this happen. And she's given instructions. And obviously she has more than one video because she said the last video went viral. So this is number two. So I, I don't know. Like, you're right. I don't know about the numbers. It could be just the thought of it, it could be higher. But this woman has procreated and made six kids. So telling someone to do that is, like you said, is outrageous. We have enough stories. And <laughs> we, as people, know it, a few people in our family that may have six children. So let's just be honest. It ain't that difficult to track this stuff down. I will say, obviously, there's less children being born now, mm -hmm. but there are still women that will take six, seven kids. And while there are five women that just have, have no children. So mm -hmm. uh, the strategy still is working, unfortunately, but modern times that we're in. I don't know. I must not like kids that much. But um, let me let me say this. I, I mean, I got to be honest with you. I just couldn't imagine me. <laughs> but anyway. This this started with me also back on cruise season about a week ago, maybe a week or two ago, where I was saying to the ladies that men just want you all to understand them. And there was an outburst about how and if men got their ish together, then we wouldn't be in this place. And why should I help a man build, you know, or just to respect him? And my whole thing is, listen. Women are being so incentivized. There are jobs that are being taken away from the men. The government is incentivizing them not to be married. Like I said, you got the SNAP programs. You got uh, Section 8 housing, like SSI. A lot of people may not know what SSI is. But anyway, 
what it is is that little to no income individuals can um, they can work a little, but if they work over a certain amount, then their benefits are pulled. Now, typically, this happens when they have a child that may be that may have a disability or where they may may or may not told the truth about it and said the child had a disability. But whatever they do to get this funds, they get them right. So that's where they can actually receive these incentives and, and they have done that. Okay, so my whole thing is I wanted women to understand that they are contribute a lot to the fact our men are what they call losing. They contribute a lot to it because of the fact they have, even myself, I am a minority, I'm, I'm a black woman and I'm a woman, right? So it, even in my own business, I get benefits for working with the state and county that I live in. I mean, that my husband would only get, I say I could benefit from two different things. He can only benefit from one. This is a real thing. And, and they make people, they make corporations work with me. You know, of course, I'm going to be qualified to do so. And you have to have certain qualifications, but I'm married. So my husband doesn't miss out. But just say I wasn't. And he was a security firm owner and I was too. They would choose me over him. So all those corporate contracts that I have that I would be able to gain, then I would be taken away from him if he wasn't my husband. And I went on to tell the ladies that this is what's going on. So when you see a man that may not be making six figures or what have you, is, is he still a man? Because that's what we should be looking for. And of course, they was like, well, if he get his ish together, then we wouldn't have to be having this conversation. So I, I, I'm coming to you and asking you because I don't see it. What exactly are these women that are making these statements? What is it that they want him to get together? What, what, what is, what's wrong with a man that is a man that works a good job, an average man? What is the difference in them? How much money does he need to make to be qualified? Because I understand now that women seem to have made money they're God. And then once you answer that question, we're going to go to your video and then we're going to get back into it. We're going to jump into it. The short answer is a decent amount more money than them. And the more substantial the money you make more than them, the more they tend to have a level of respect for you. There's layers of respect, but if you make a substantial amount of more money than them, then they have a higher level of respect for you in that aspect. And it can trickle down to other areas. So, uh, realistically, if the woman's making thirty thousand dollars, she'll greatly take a man that's making eighty to ninety. She'll look at him like not bad. But if she's making seventy, seventy-five, eighty, she's going to be looking for somebody, depending on what role of authority he wants to have. Meaning, you could tell me what to do if you get money. Like I know you get money, so I'm gonna do what you say. But if you're not getting that much more money than me, then we really on the same level because there's a competition view there. There's not a serving thing. And they don't understand that the overall outlook of their life is totally going to be contingent upon a man. And they hate that. They hate it burns their soul to know that their life, their happiness and determining their value is dictated about the impacts of the men that they deal with. They do not like that. And so I can't change that. They think that they can just by being single. So overall, what's going to happen is that if women don't evolve past how much money a man makes into getting to the point where, okay, if you want to make the money, lady, then you have to take a different type of men. Because I'm gonna most men that make money and have – most men that a woman would describe that they want – comes with authority and standards they don't want authority and standards they want you to have the money and be uh relaxing free let me do what i want you know don't be too restrictive work with me you know part of no men are very restrictive when they get to a certain level because they need they need to control certain things hey i got things going on here my life ain't no just figure it out day by day things is a lot going on so they're more restrictive they're more like hey it's structured I got rules. I say you need to operate like this. Oh, but what do you, this ain't no negotiation. Well, you got to negotiate because I saw on TV, everything's 50-50. It ain't about your money. And they don't understand. There's a standard and ain't no, a man ain't budging on certain things. Like I'm the type of person, I'm not budging. 
I say no, the answer is no. Ain't nothing you can say about this area here, 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 and here. Now, all seven other areas, go as you please. You can you all the flexibility you want. There's something I'm just stringent on. And women want to at least tug at you and say, maybe if I can get them to come off of that a little bit, I can kind of wear them down. And I find that most women, the men that they would desire when they describe on paper, they don't want to deal with the standards that he requires. So they want the money, but they want the freedom that comes with allowing them to be. If you ask a woman, what, what is the what is the duty of women in today's society? They're going to oh, man, women be happy. Some crap, some crap like that. So it's it's quite fr frustrating knowing that there are a lot of men that are trying to figure out how to re-navigate in this society with women acting the way that they are. And so we're kind of at that stage. So listen, um, not trying to shout it out, but I can do that because I am over here on SB Nation. I have a wife ed class. I actually just got done with one, so I'm not presently having one. And in my wife ed class, it was full. It was. Um, women wanted to be a part of it. They emailed me and they were there. In that class, what we did is we talked about self-reflection. We talked about um, becoming wives. We talked about sacrificing. We talked about submission, how to get there. And all those women were quite interested in doing that. And one thing that they took away from SB's class was that as women, we have to set standards. We have to set standards as women that want to be wives. And my suggestion to men is y'all got to set some standards and you got to make them high. Like you just said, you're going to stand 10 toes down on the authority that a man has. And I'm not changing my mind. I think y'all should do it so much that you don't even have these ridiculous conversations that with women that can't understand it. If they come in the door, not able to understand their roles as women, I'm not even talking about a wife. I'm just talking about as a woman. And I'm going to tell you where that begins. That begins with respect. All men, all men deserve respect. Dearly beloved. And that doesn't mean kiss some man's toes. It means respect them. And that also means if a certain man is not showing you respect, excuse yourself, let it go. If you can't, it, just let it go, walk away. I'm talking to the woman. If she can't do that, walk away. And it's all, it's, this is all things that we have to learn. But our ego doesn't need to try to challenge a man's ego. And men innately deserve respect. There's something about y'all makeup, the build, the way God made you that says you need to be respected. And if you can't do it, ladies, just be quiet. And if being quiet is not enough, exit. Well, let me add this. Men have to be the they have to be the fathers that their that, that their son would want. Meaning, you are a hero to your child. Most men are. They look up, they see their dad, that's their hero. Until you get to a certain point where you can realize and understand exactly who he is and make an informed decision, but prior to that, you obliviously fought, looks at your father like a hero. I've found that these women don't want to be like their mothers. I, you maybe not, because some mothers were hell raisers. Some mothers and grandmothers hated men for whatever reason. Their experiences are their grandmother's experiences. That doesn't matter. When I say I'm calling you to order just to respect, and men, women included, women need to respect women too. You know, they do. But you got to respect a man. And if you can't, just excuse yourself. If you can't be there and be quiet, remove yourself. But that's the first thing that needs to happen. It doesn't mean that you got to agree. It don't mean that I want to be in relationship with you. It doesn't mean anything like that. But first thing that a woman needs to learn is respect. And I don't care what the man is doing. If I don't like what he's doing, I have to excuse myself if I can't take it. This is just this is this woman 101. Just just being a woman. Do you know that these women like toxic things? It's okay. That's what y'all come, but guess what? That's where y'all come in at. You set your standard and refuse to have the conversation. Now, I can't tell you how to run fight club. I'm not talking about that particularly. I'm just saying, I'm saying I need to see women and men set standards for their life because. Uh, it is a need to have a nuclear family. If we even can think about a community, there is a need for it. 
there is a need to be married, even though what we're dealing with and what we see, it definitely looks like marriage is out of the question. And it only goes to the fact that we're just out of order. But just common respect. I'm just talking about respect. I ain't, I'm not talking about nothing else, but I respect what you're saying. I'm going to shut up and listen to you. But you don't need to be no BNA by the end of the day, you know? So yeah, I'm with that. That's a that's a big deal because um what I'm saying to you is that there is a line, but the line is so blurry now that good men like yourself and other men who want women, who want to maybe have uh, long term relationships, y'all not able to identify because I do have ladies over here at Wife Ed. I did have um, a class that was full and others I had to turn away. So that means some woman somewhere is wanting to identify with what a wife looks like because she knows this is where she evolves into. But then you have the others and they are louder than the other. So it's like, OK, I'm fighting this one, you know, and now I'm making her look like this one. And not it's not it's not intentional. It's just what it is. So definitely set your standard is that that's all that point was. I just was. And I think Chica and I came to the same came to the same conclusion. Women need to set a standard. And that's one of the things I tell my ladies to do. Uh, set your standard and don't deviate from them. But, don't but, but they but they don't i we're gonna start here but they lack character like like they, like for instance men or women are different the what the goals that men have no matter what when they're younger most men are going to be into going after women there's just no way around it for whatever genetic reason hormonal reason whatever they really like women so there's no going around that right but the thought was is that women are much more um, selective than men are. That That's the thought, right? But somehow, some way, these women with standards are not virgins. Their legs oh. somehow, I, I just don't, oh, go ahead. Wait a minute, we're gonna, we're gonna get back to that too. But uh, Mr. Boss, can you pull up DB? Uh, Cause there's some things that we just don't do. I wanna, uh, Aaron, are you familiar with DB? Uh, not necessarily. No. Okay. I mean, DB, I'm gonna read your comment for you. And I'm gonna tell you exactly where we are with this. Uh, DB says, shut up and listen, says every mammy ever. I'm good. Love enjoy. Okay. DB, let me tell you something. Um, we're going to drop the link and I would love for you to cam up and come up and describe and define mammy for me. Cause that's something that we don't do. Now we can have a difference in opinion. Cause remember, I just talked about respect. We can have a difference in opinion. We can even have a conversation. But there are no mammies here. And if you don't know what a mammy is, I advise you to lose the word. Or better yet, you don't have to be here because there are no mammies here. Now, I don't know what you're talking about. You may not be talking about me, but I don't like that for any woman. So find another word. Cam up and have the conversation. You, you, I'm giving you choices. As a feminist, I'm giving you choices. And that's what y'all want, right? So understand that, please respect the panel, which is right now just me and Aaron, <laughs> but don't do that. Don't do that. We don't call names here. Okay. So Aaron, I apologize for that, but I just, this, this mammy thing and these young ladies have just been tr tripping me out. I'm a black woman. I'm a black woman. What are you doing? Where's the respect? Oh, somebody else who Robin, did you have a, uh, was that Robin? Yeah. Y'all just trying to derail the show. But guess what? We're going we're gonna to deal with it because I want them to cam up and we're going to talk about it. But we're going to do that later because obviously there's an issue with this mammy thing. Yes, I'm very triggered by it because you are, most of you are black women and I'm a black woman. Why would you be disrespecting another black woman? So I'm very triggered. You're right. You're right. I am. It's very disrespectful. Uncalled for. I never, don't think I've ever called any woman out of their name. Wouldn't do it. But anyway, Aaron, getting back to what you were saying. Yeah, I, I just think we're getting to a place where marriage is done. Um, I, I can, in good faith, advocate for any man to do it. I can't. It, it's too dangerous. It's too dangerous for men to do it with the type of women that exist in this atmosphere. Women are me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. I just... I like to be wrong, and I do know older women. Um, they they have a different experience. They grew up in a in a world where it wasn't as uh, instant gratification, and it was a much smaller world. We're much more connected now, uh, especially in a social atmosphere. 
And these men have to deal with the women with this inflated view of the world where a lot of women already lack uh, self-awareness. They lack being introspective, like all these things that they lack in. And what they do is when we when there is a man, because me and Chiki talk about it a lot, when there is a man that they can't belittle because necessarily he ain't as broke and he got little money and he does do what he says he's going to do and his character is right but he's very very strict because it requires that in order to operate how he needs to that's too much he's too overwhelming he's too demanding so they would rather go down in uh levels of authority per se and deal with a man that's more open to being less controlling and berate him for not being uh, excelling in those other areas, which typically would make you be more accountable because you can't belittle a man. This is why it frustrates a woman when a man, his money right, his added, like every, like he got his own, he got everything around him is good. So whether you was there or not, life is great for him without her. It frustrates her to know that she can't belittle him and say, you got to work on these things because he is going to be on her. Very corrective. Women don't want to be looking in the mirror while you correcting them. They don't want to do it. But listen, if that's the case, because who determines when a when a man's money is right? Didn't he determine that? Hmm. Didn't the man the one determines that? Why would he allow a woman to determine when his money is right? It could be just the next woman. See, listen, again, raise your standards. Keep it moving. If you find women like D.B., trying to speak with you, keep it moving. They're not They're not good women. They're not wives. They don't have what it takes and the character is way off. And I'm gonna go back to what you said about character. Um, this is what we're talking about. Not every woman and every man either knows everything. You know, we're not completed uh, individuals when we come into this world. There's a lot of growing and maturing that needs to happen. So uh, we always should look for people who are willing you need to be willing to make changes. You need to be willing to learn, um, you know, what to do in a situation, in a real life relationship. You have to know, you have to learn these things. It's not coming naturally. And, and when women are just off the hook and they don't listen to any kind of order and they're not receptive to a man. I mean, really, y'all need to stop entertaining them at all. Cut them off. Let them figure it out. Let them figure it out. So, you know, it's real simple. But I want to play this part of the video um, that you did the other day. And we're going to talk about it from then on. I've heard countlessly women fumble the question, what do you bring to the table? And I know why they fumble it, right? Mm -hmm. But what they say is, I've never heard a man, why would a man ask that? They only say that on YouTube, but real, I've never heard that in my day-to-day -day life. That That's new. Let me tell you the reason why it's new. Because these men don't play by old rules. See, they've changed the rules. See, women used to be glad to be mothers. They would be broke as a joke, wouldn't care. Just give me my baby and my husband. We'll figure it out. They love the family. That was a woman's duty. They understood that. The issue that exists now with women because of this money is that the duty in which women were supposed to have, which was to produce children for families, they want to be paid for it. That, this is what your part y'all don't understand. This is why women are so mad and telling men, get more money. They, if they're going to have a child, they want you to pay them for it. They want money. They want compensation for being a mother now. They don't want it to be their duty. It's compensation for my service, so pay me. So what happened was, because they want compensation, they want to be paid to be mothers, right? Because before they would just take the government benefits and that would be good enough to pay them. That's no longer adequate pay for them. They want more money to be mothers. Fine, their choice. Here's why men ask, what do you bring to the table? If we, if you say, I have my own money now, I don't need men for this, I don't need men for that, you're changing the rules. So we're changing the rules. A man's duty is to provide and protect. We want to be paid for that now. So what do you bring to the table? That's the reason why the question is. Right. Being asked. If you never understood why I have just conveyed it to you. Men want to be paid for our duties and services now. So right. patriarchy been said, like I've been saying, like Cheeky been saying, we, we know we're smart enough to know we can't play that old game. We ain't yeah. here to all oh, get married. Take the All right, Aaron. So now you want to get paid for it.
how much is it worth? Well, here's the great part. When it comes to men, we don't necessarily want to be paid with money. I know. <laughs> so that that's the thing. It, it's it's just we used to look at it like that's just our duty as men. Like that's what we're supposed to do. Right. But it used to be the reason why Mother's Day is way more celebrated than Father's Day is because we understand the sacrifice that women have to make to, to be mothers. We're not oblivious to it. This is why they, they are way more allotted, way more celebrated than fathers are, because we understand that's a unique thing that mother, only mothers can do. Right. We understand. It. That's why when it comes to Mother's Day, men understand y'all got that. that we we, we, we going to celebrate. Father's Day come around, just give us our socks. It is what it is. And we was good with that because that was the duty. We just had, it was what it was. Men take it on the chin. But now it's like, that's that's not enough. Mother's Day ain't enough. Look, I, I love my kids, but Mother's Day ain't enough. All that proud, I'm proud I'm your mom stuff. No, I, I need something more than that because that love for my kids don't pay the bills. It's getting to that point. Love for kids don't pay the bills no more. And so the most... The most the the most the most expensive job is being a mother. I will not argue or disagree with that. And it's an unpaid job, right? There's no way to actually calculate how much you can be paid to be a mother, right? And so, because women perform those services, there's no actual pay scale. So there's no way to gauge just how, uh, in a monetary factor, how valuable of a job it is. So now, when you have women saying, "Well, I want to live a certain lifestyle." That's kind of their way of gauging what, you know, being a mother is, because uh, if you want to live a certain lifestyle and the reason you're telling a man, I want you to be able to afford this lifestyle is because presumably you're going to give a man a child because most men are not even going to even sniff marriage if children are not involved. It makes no sense to be married to a woman and we don't have no children unless we've got to an older age and you 60 years old. And it just weird to be like this. My girlfriend at 60, it could be you might get married, you know, for those reasons. But in general, men are like the risk that it comes with being married. I bet at least we have children together makes sense. So now that they charge all these upscale prices, because, listen, I grew up. I will not say in poverty per se although i could argue it but very 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 poor very poor right and i'm still alive i didn't die and so when they say oh it costs money to raise children it don't cost nearly as much money as they say it does although i'm fine with the thought process because we want each kid to have a chance so i've heard all these excuses all these views these reasoning but how do we pay you for your duty now because it used to be women embrace duty but now they want to be paid for it and we don't know how to compensate or, or allocate that actual value. And so men actually have a value too. Women don't want to be around here closing their legs and not doing nothing. They don't want to do that. And we, we normally offered our value for duty and for the free. It's just our duty. But now that we see y'all want to play with y'all duty, it ain't going to work with us. We can't get y'all to just adjust and be like, yes, yes, it's fine. It's fine. We can't get y'all to adjust. So because of that, it's only right for a man to say, I, I respect your mind, but I need to charge for what I bring to the table since y'all don't respect it enough when it's free and it's just duty. So we're at a battle. We're at a standstill. That's where I think we're at. OK, so St Aaron, the reason why we're at a battle is because there's a lack of understanding and we're just missing each other. Um, that is what a man is is responsible for doing in marriage, providing, protecting and in a woman's job, you know, when you came here, the way you were made, the way God made you, he created a woman to be with a man from a man for the purpose of procreating. So that's in us. And it's going to be about that. That is just how it's going to be. But it should be within marriage. And we have gotten so far away from being married now. It's ridiculous. Meaning the mindsets of what a married woman looks like and what a married man looks like is just way off. So, again, um, we should be advising i should say or we should be pushing i know they, they don't want to do it but everyone should be preserving themselves because when you have sex it does cloud the mind and the thought process and it is creating nothing but chaos sexual immorality is definitely creating chaos but i know everybody ain't gonna put it together all at once you're gonna need some time to think about it but anyway it's, that's what that's that's where we are but to correct the problem is if a woman 
cannot submit per se. I should say, because it's not submission unless you're actually married to her. If she can't listen to what a man's role is, if she just can't adhere to it, then that is not someone that you should be entertaining and be in a relationship with. Because a woman does want a man to be that man that takes the lead. I'm not saying he's a great leader because he may, it may have not been nourished. It, it may, no one in his family may have been a leader, but it's still something that is within a man. You know, it is something that they're supposed to do, protect and provide. Now, I don't even know how you would all would not do that. You know, if something was happening and a woman was there, you mean to tell me you're going to step to the side and let the, let yep. the bullet hit her? I don't well, believe that. I don't believe that. It's, it's Listen, me and Cheeky talk about this all the time. How would you do it, though? How would you know if this woman right here is one that needs to be protected? No, no. Because I, of the I understand reason. what you're saying, but I, I'm saying slowly but surely, you're hearing men say, oh, these men are weak. They let these I'm telling you, women walking up, getting knocked out in the middle of the street, and guys like, I don't know what's going on over there. It used to never be like that. It used to be mind-blowing to see, especially in public, to see a man just strike a woman. Other guys will be like, I know you tripping, like naturally, like, no, it's not like that no more. Like, let me tell you something strongly. funny. Yeah. <laughs> let me tell you something funny. Yesterday, I saw a woman jump out the car <laughs> to go help a woman. Honestly, a woman jumped out the car to go help another woman because she thought that the man was uh, being abusive to the lady. She jumped out. Another woman jumped out to go help another woman. That's funny to me. And her husband eventually got out, but not readily. She was out first. But my point I'm trying to make is this. Um, it's not, we have to go through a process. I hate to say this. And all these women out here that are not covered and don't see the need to be covered, they may be sacrificed. It may be something that we have to get over. And all the men that refuse to be men or what have you, there may be something, it could be possibly a dying away. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it is what it is. Men are men and women are women and we need each other. So it's going, it's going to be like that. Now, how it's going to look on the other side, per se, I don't know, Aaron, but it's not going to be but what it is. Men cannot be, unless they choose to be, women. And women cannot choose to be men unless they try to be men. And it doesn't work. It's not working. It's not It's not working. A woman cannot be a man, and a man cannot be a woman. I now, he can, go, he can go get some alterations, but guess what? What's in you is what's in you. That's just how it goes. With, I agree with the natural instinct because when because initially when I saw it, I was like, are we, I think you're leaning to more getting out of relationships with men and say, I'll try another woman now. It's getting to those options things to where you're starting to see that a little bit more. But the problem that I've noticed is that even I think I forgot we was talking about even on Fight Club, uh women just naturally their awareness is just on a level way lower than men. Like right. Like even when it comes to driving, we have well, we were talking about driving, looking at other people's cars, and just paying overly paying attention to everything around you. And I forgot which woman it was on the panel. She's like, I don't do that. I just I my, I don't look in people's cars and do all that extra stuff. I just see where they are, and I just. And the men were like, "This is why you don't know what's going on. You need to pay attention to everything because you got to protect everything around you." And I don't think if you get another woman to join you in your home, she has those natural instincts for that protection that you need. Like, but so try to, uh, <laughs> I don't know how you substitute the value that a man brings inherently. I just don't know how you can do that, but these women are trying at these high rates. This is why the, the amount of dogs being purchased is insane. And the reason why is because dogs don't hurt your feelings. Women are like, women are, have a high level of fear when it comes to their feelings getting hurt oh, it hurts he cheated on me and every man is like that you how many men you dated two and so this is what their problem is they don't want to feel pain they don't want to see feel be hurt but they want a man that's vulnerable they want a man that show emotions while they try to get their heart and everything protected from feeling those emotions it's such an interesting way that they view these things and i think men that they're just I think men are lonelier, lonelier than women are. Uh, I think the studies show that. And I think the amount of money that men pay women just to talk to them online is a clear uh, indicator of it. But I think men would rather do that than to deal with the type of uh, vitriol and hatred and disdain that women in person have towards men. 
So they'd rather deal with a woman that pretends online. It's getting worse and worse. Okay, so listen, let me let me say something. Um, I saw someone say something about uh, wife school being a money grab. Let me just explain wife ed. Um, my wife ed class was free. I invited the women in that want to be wives, and we had two-hour conversations on Friday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for about five, six weeks. And we talked about everything that they needed to, to know. And yes, guess what? There's one getting married next month. <laughs> Actually, she is. One's getting married. Next month. Yep. And yeah, one getting married next one and two are well on the way. So um, everything and what it seems to be and everybody ain't all alike. I've been married 28 years. I would only push marriage on a woman that is single. And just like Aaron just gave an example of a woman being attacked and we hear it every day, all day long. If a woman had a husband, she would definitely move differently. If a woman was married to a man, she would learn what he says to learn. And she would pay more attention to the things that are around her because uh, me and Mr. Boss, we move in sync. If he say drop, I'm dropping. <laughs> if he say hide, I'm hiding. I'm not going to be like, for what? No, 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 no. He's logical. I'm emotional. I see a gun, I scream. He see a gun, he pulls his. So that's why two women are not good together, Aaron. They don't know what to do together. They they may I heard a, a woman the other day talking about hers don't go down. You know what that was, right? Hers don't go down, really? Yeah. I do mean, you know how dumb you look by saying that? Yours don't go down. Your what? <clears throat> so anyway, let me do these super chats really quick. Um, Dr. Steele, thank you so much for your two dollars super chats. He said, These real women's you are talking about. Uh, thank you, Dr. Steele, for your $2 super chat. OMA, thank you so much for your $1.99 cents super chat. The Housewives of YouTube, Aaron, May 31st. Don't miss it. The Housewives of YouTube. Wow. I never heard of that. Um, Jack, not. Thank you so much for your $50 super chat. Aaron, oh, it's correct. Good women saw 304s being paid for their services and got FOMO. Mm. Um, you can't pay someone to adhere to a duty. No, you can't. And if that's what they want, then those are not wives. Those are not even somebody that you should waste your time with. Listen, guys, if they come out with a wrong disposition or even in conversation, and it sounds like they want you all to submit to something that they're saying about paying them to clean and do the duties of a wife per se, keep moving. It doesn't make sense. Um, my bad for being POS or FC. I was bored and started trolling. Shout out to SB. Uh, no hymen, no diamond. These 304 a loyal. <laughs> he said no hymen, no diamond. You listen, uh, Jack, you get the money line. Thank you so much, Jack. Um, but listen, again, it's I just think it's time for you guys to start. Oh, we're not done yet. Thank you, Jack, for your 10 dollars super chat. Single women think they are entitled to the same level of protection and structure as married women who were raised to be wives. That's not how men work. Mr. Boss keeps moving it. If you come with disease, kids, or bodies, thumbs down. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Uh, but listen. I tell women, and this is just, listen, ain't nobody perfect. If we were trying to push a perfect society, I think men would actually move different also. But a man is a man and women cannot change men. We first have to understand that. But women should preserve themselves. Men should also. But we can't be responsible for what men do. So a woman has to be responsible for herself. And that is one thing that we do push in wife ed is that a woman who's now on the path of um, being a wife, becoming a lady, being a wife, she needs to preserve herself. She needs to have the right mindset to be a wife because it is a different mindset, y'all. It is one that's sacrificial, like Aaron said. It is one that submits. What is wrong with a man is taking care of you that you submit your will to him and he's taking care of you? He got you. Another thing, we always talk about money. Listen, y'all could do anything you want to do. But when you marry someone, make sure it's somebody y'all trust, because I hear no trust in relationships now. 
um, in the beginning of our relationship, it was, it was, we didn't know. I'm going to say we didn't know. We didn't know that we uh, had money issues until we had money issues. But we went to a counselor and he said, uh, put all your money in one pot. Do you know how much trust you build with a person when you put all your money in one pot? You know, see, that's what that's what marriage is about. And I don't think a lot of people are ready for marriage, even the ones that of age, even the ones that think they are, even the ones who have made money, their gods. I don't think they know what marriage is about. Because if you want to build trust, put your money in the pot with somebody else. What do you have to lose? One paycheck, one week's pay. You ain't got to do it for life. I got to do is mess up one time. And then you will know exactly what you're dealing with. Because if you're not vetting. A lot of money, us be. So what? One week. Okay. One week. You, you can do are. it. You can play it several ways. You could, you could play around, be married to this woman five years, and she become that woman that y'all think or thought that she was in the beginning and take all your stuff or you could put all yours in one pot, put it all in. She could put all hers in because remember, she's a high earner now too, right? So she putting all hers in and you putting all yours in and y'all making it work and you're trusting each other because if she's not willing to do it, then she don't trust you. And if you're not willing to do it, then you're not ready to be married. Then y'all can walk away at the beginning. I, I think the confusion still exists because I don't think women do enough of studying men. Um, I often have to reserve some of my thoughts because I'm not inclined to tell women everything. I want you to go out and search. I want you to go out and get the information. Go out and be curious about men. But they just want you to tell them exactly what they need to know so they can get the man. But if, the, if it's not a desire, it's just no curiosity. Where there's no A woman typically studies what she desires. But a woman doesn't need to study a man. She needs to study being a wife. She doesn't need to study a man because guess what? I have to adapt. I had to adapt to Mr. Boss. I didn't need to adapt to Aaron. So no That's matter how true. many men I study, it, it didn't matter. I had one that I was that got my concentration. Yes, yes. No, I but I that. needed to get me right though, Aaron. They need to study to being wives. They need to know about sacrificing. They need to know what it means to have a duty of a nuclear family. I'm, I'm, fine, I'm fine with that because I, I understand what you're saying. But when you tell a woman study and learn themselves, what they think is. I need to do what's best for me and what benefits me in life, not the servitude that comes with it. They don't they don't hear what you saying and, and take it in properly and, and, and dissect it. What they hear is, oh, yeah, I need to make sure I'm straight. I need to make sure I'm doing this. And it's me, 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 me and not servitude, because when they hear servitude, they hear what? Slavery. So, Robin M., let's compare. You, you said women who put one pot is for dummies. Let's compare. Let's let's hear what you got, and I'll share with you what I got. Oh, oh is that Robin? It oh, says no. Robin M. So Robin uh, M. Let's let's compare. You you bring to the table what you got, and I'll share with you what I got. We'll uh, see who the dummy don't, is. Don't even argue with. But Robin. you got to cam up first, Robin. Robin, you got to cam up first. She's not camming up. <laughs> okay, so guess what? Guess what? Who the dummy? Robin ain't even camming up. It's be right here. So Robin, when you ready, girl. We're going to compare. We're going to figure out who the dummy is, right? You know, I ain't going to bother you no more. But unless you're ready to compare, don't be throwing out names because I'm one pie every day, all day. <laughs> and Mr. Boss is too. See, you think it's dumb, but actually it's very smart. You, you have to, you know, like when it comes to my chat, the, the, the people that are there, especially the trolls, uh, their goal is to try to get me. You know, so that that's what they, they attempt to just try to throw you off and get under your skin. They know it's it's damn near impossible with me. So they, they just keep trying. That, that's well, I'm gonna see, you see Sugar Bomb been tr been teaching me how to troll. Sugar Bomb, my left hand over here. Sugar Bomb is, I love, see me and Sugar Yeah, Bum. I know. I love Sugar Bomb too. She my left hand. So she's been teaching me. I've been watching her. So if they try to troll me, I'm going to go back at them and see either they're going to lead the chat or they're going to cam up. So it, it works either way. So I'm trolling from over here and they can continue to troll over there. It don't really bother me. But if you're going to throw out some names, I'm going to, you know, see, you know, see what you're about. That's all. But listen, Aaron, it doesn't. No, listen, it's a trust issue. It, that's what relationships are about. If you are in love with guess what? If a woman is not willing to do what a wife is and she wants to make make her own wife definition, you know, a wife is this. She's not a wife. It's crystal clear. We can look up what a wife is biblically, biblically, because that's what a marriage is. Right. So if you're not that woman, that you're not that woman, y'all. So all that making up you be doing and, you know, fixing up. I'm a wife. I want to do it this way. You're not. 
Why don't y'all just call him out, y'all? Men, why don't y'all just call him out? Tell him up front, you're not a wife. So they can go on about their business and get it right. But if they do want to be a wife, there is a blueprint for being a wife. And it is a very exclusive club. And not all women can be a part of it. it men men don't matter to women unless you're the man that they want. So I like we could call women out all we want. But if you're not the man that a woman wants, it don't mean nothing. Like her, her lock is only supposed to open up for that man. And women tend to respond that way in the sense of he can say whatever he wants. He ain't nobody. But the man that she really want and really want to desire, what he says does bother her. But unfortunately, can they get in the in the space with a man like that? And they often can't. But what they will do is they want. I don't know how we balance this enjoying life thing with women because they don't know that that involves keeping your legs closed. They don't understand, and they think that's just. Oh, won't you tell men that? Well, we could tell them that, but. The reason why men have always been different towards women is that because we know men going to be different. But we have an expectation for women to be above men in certain aspects. And it used to be that way. But now it's tit for tat. There is no there is no uh, at this point, women sleep with more people than men sleep with. other. Like women have surpassed that. Oh, they sleep with more men than men sleep with women. They beaten them now. But but Aaron, see, look, that's the problem. There's been no standard set. I have a standard for men. You know, I'm married, of course. I had a standard for my husband. But still, I think a man shouldn't be out there just throwing his, you know, the community D, as you all call it. That shouldn't happen either. Most men are not. And the large, me and Cheeky talk about this all the time. The majority of men are not. The majority of men are lonely. I, we study after study after study show this. They're lonely. Most women ain't got no need for them. If you can't do nothing for me, I ain't even paying no attention to you. Most men are lonely. And and those men, they'd say, are incels or lack social skills, and they want to make fun of them. But to be honest, most of those men are kind-hearted people, the type of kind-hearted oh. women would like. But unfortunately, they're not charming. They ain't got that swag. They can't make you laugh and all these other things. And so they think of them as losers. Like, I have this thing now where I tell people it's very simple. Unfortunately. If, and it's going to be bad, but it's the truth. If a woman doesn't see you as somebody that is smarter than her, then default, you're a dummy to her. If, mm. if you're not smarter than her, by default, her programming makes her think you dumb. And it's mean, it's cruel, but that's how women operate. You need to be smarter than them for her to go, he's smart. Because if you're so, not, you're dumb. So, Aaron, do you have a, do you feel an obligation to the black woman at all? If you're part of my family, yes. But as far as this community thing and things like that, no, 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 not, not at all. Because I don't believe it's right to, to be against racism. And I'm using a distinguishing factor to make determinations. If, if I'm looking at the color of your skin, right, you're, and I'm using that as a determining factor of whether you, I should deal with you over somebody else, that's damn near exactly what kind of racism it really is in a lot of ways we describe it. So I can't operate that in good faith and expect other people not to do racist things if I'm willing to participate. So I'm not just designed to do that. I'm designed to deal with people for how they carry themselves, who they are, and how they operate in the world. I don't want to look at it as the color of your skin or things like that. I want to deal with people on a per-person basis and I deal with them like that because you have no idea who's the right person for you and what form that comes in. So I, I you would I would be remiss if I would limit that to one demographic. I don't recommend anybody do that. If you find someone that is the best fit for you and they operate in the form and do the actions in which you respect and value, I don't care what, what they look like. So I wasn't really talking about in relationship. I'm just saying if you saw, okay, like right now, how we are so broken. Um, as a culture or as a community, if I see a black man in despair, I don't want him as my mate or what have you, but I still feel for that man. I still would want to help him if, if I could, if if he asked, to, you know, I'm not out there like, you know, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? But yeah, Naturally, but that's instilled that's upon us about. That, but when you see black people on TV, like I feel, unfortunately, I know there's a trauma bond thing, right? We, we, we naturally have, when you see black people going through stuff, you're like, man, 
it's hurtful. It's painful. When you see black people succeed, you feel a little bit better. That's that that's naturally in us. But it has to come with a temperament. Right. You have, like you have to have a system in place to check certain uh, biases. Right. I have. Right. Those, so. No, I agree with that. I, I'm not I, saying I, don't don't leave yeah. them unchecked. I'm not saying don't have a, a be accountable either. You know, I do think that um, it's just that it's sad to see that we have women that are uncovered right now that don't see the need to be covered because they just don't understand. A lot of people have grown up where there is no foundation, there's no belief system, and they're just out here. And you have men like yourself and others, um, you're teaching moral, you're living a moral life. Uh, some of you are actually teaching, some may be teaching religion, some may be teaching the creator, what have you. And women are still, it is written though, it's just is written. So this is not something that is not expected, but there are still some that will get it. There are some that will get it and will benefit the most. And there are others that won't and they will suffer. So we already know that. But I'm saying just to say, I'm going to ignore you. I'm going to leave you behind. is kind of, you know, I wouldn't say that. I would want everybody to have the whole story and all the information, especially the black woman, because I black man, excuse me, because I feel like we're here together. See, you know, see, we're here together. I, I in a perfect world would love to uh, accept that. But as a man, by default, I have to have a let you burn mentality. I like this. Like there are people in the chat said, somebody said, I, I don't like black women. You're a fool. I love black women. Uh, dark skin, light skin don't matter to me. If you a good person, a good black woman, I'm good with those. The trash ones, the ones that are bad people, I don't like them in general. So it's not I can't do anything about that. But. <laughs> At the end of the day, I do believe in letting people burn. I do believe in letting people drown, letting people fall down. Like I can't take everybody to the promised land. And I'm not saying I'm here to deliver the promised land. I'm just using that as an example. I can, you can't help everybody. You can't. The thing is, you can be an example to a certain degree of what you would want somebody to treat you, what type of people you want around you, what type of character you accept, and things like that. But I'm sorry. Uh, no, I, if, I, if I walk around, and I see a bad woman. She don't. No man deserve to go through that. If I see a, a bad man, no woman deserve to go through that. I, 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 it's OK to be a flawed person. Right. But to be bad, these, these evil tendencies, the, walking around with a child. Man, hurry up. Come on, let's go. Like the, the, the disdain you have for having to take care of your child. Man, if your daddy left us here alone. Like just the mentality of these things. I'm sorry. I, if, a, if a woman left me and with my child and just left, never in my life would I grab my child and like, yo, mama left us here on our own and just hurry up and come on. My mind would never go to that. We got no. it. Like, but I, we see that all the time. But what do you do about it? Well, what I do about it is stay the hell away from those women and run. And, but unfortunately, <laughs> a lot of those women can be in your family. And so you have. And you just let it go. You don't, you just let it go. Because, because at listen, it's one thing to try to be corrective in a in a um, respectful tone because you want to come a certain way to where people want to hear you. But I'm a man. At some point, I'm going to get overly uh, forceful. Like, no, this the solution. Do this, and it, it's not beneficial because they're not willing to do those things. And so I'm mm -hmm. not willing to expend a certain level of energy into things no more. I, I used to do it. I used to be like, hey, you know, you do this, this, and that. Your life could change over the simplest things, the simple control of emotion, the simple change in thought process to stop looking at the white man uh, working in corporate America as working for the white man. Just simple mental shifts could change and evolve your life. But I've just, I've done with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not having those conversations with people no more. And go ahead and do what you want to do and you figure it out. Because you used to, I, I learned that you know, don't offer information to somebody. They have to ask you for it. And you have mm -hmm. to get to a certain level of maturity before you realize just going around, giving insight about things that you've done that's helped you and just freely speaking to people. You think that you're helping because you would want it done for you. But what I found is that unless somebody requests the information or they ask for it, you, you're talking on dead ears. So let me share something with you. Um, that is not completely true, because even though the person that you're speaking to may not be the person, they may not get it. The Holy Spirit is still at work. It's for somebody. Trust me. It's for somebody. It may not be for the one that's in your face, but it's for somebody. And someone also, I think it was Miss Best said that um, those days are over. SB, no, it ain't over to God. Say it's over. 
So y'all need to stop tripping. You just need to get your life. It's all. But guess what? It's still working. Anytime we have these conversations and Aaron, your um, audience has just changed. You used to do it to the people in your home um, that you feel as though they were not listening. But now you're doing it to all these people that come to your comment section because you're still who you are. Your voice is still who it is. You know, you're still you. So they you just got a different audience. You're still doing the same thing. You're still helping somebody. Yeah, but I I understand that. But my people that come see my channel, they, they're seeking me. They're coming to me. I'm no longer going up to people and just randomly saying, hey, I, let's do this. Or, hey, think about this. Now I'm like, okay, if you come over here, we can have a communication. We can have a dialogue because you actually want to be here and it's worth the energy and time. Because I, I put, I think a lot. A lot of people have noticed that. I think a lot and I don't mind sharing my thoughts. And when you have on the internet, I, there are a lot of people that are going to be in the chat and are not going to speak. You know what I mean? Like they're not going to say anything, but they will hear. And you'll have somebody that will comment, they ain't never comment and go, I like the way you said that. That kind of mm -hmm. just changed my perspective. That's what I work for. This is what we grind and put these hours in because it might not be show one, show two, show three. It might be the fifth show where you say something that's extremely profound through conversation. Things um, reveal themselves and you go, wow, OK, that really helps somebody. So that three, four hours of work that we've done in that moment, that's all that person needed. And that's what we, I kind of look forward to. But I'm not going around the way I used to do it. Be like, okay. hey, hey. It, I'm just I can't do it anymore because I've learned ultimately just like they said some ridiculous like what you're doing is a money grab to me that's insane right I, I i don't know why people do that but they do that to try to just mess with you but i don't know why people think that they should hold on to money you should freely give your money to something of value and the problem is people don't know how to identify value and that's their loss because we have this whole uh lack mentality that we need to save and hold on to every dollar because this money gonna save us but the problem is you need to relinquish that money to get the proper information. And that comes with that comes with trial, with loss and gain. And so they keep thinking this money thing, holding on to it is going to save them because I used to have that mentality. And mm -hmm. what I've learned is I'm freely going to pay anybody with their worth, especially if I find value in what they're doing. This is why you need to have um, – a barrier in which you deal with people. Hey, like we, if you got a members thing, I'm doing members only for $5 because most people that's trolling right now don't want to pay $5 to troll you. They don't. <laughs> some of them, even some of the trolls that I have, like they actually not that bad. They actually, because I want the visceral side of a woman that is angry at men because they heard all the things that men have said and they want to respond in an angered way. It, it's a benefit to me because when you're angry, the truth of how your mentality is brings it to the light and I can dissect it. I don't assume every woman is like that, but you're impacted by that. So I know that may hurt you. And a lot of people have similarities. So there's value in a lot of things if, if we properly evaluate it. So I, I just think that we need to start putting more barriers in the people that need, that want to seek it. Because unfortunately for me, women love projects and they love vulnerable people, homeless people and the children that that need them, they love that type of thing. But when you come as a package put together, well spoken, all these things, uh, a man of integrity, uh, do what you say you're going to do and just totally carry yourself a certain way. It is infuriating to them because they can't fix you. And listen, I wish Cheeky was up here, right? Because then, like, it, it it would he would highlight certain things that I'm not able to uh, express in a different form because he, he sees certain things that I don't see. So, when, and that's why we sp we spar a lot because I go, hey, hey, hey. But if he was here, he, he understand what I'm saying. Well, we're gonna get him up here in a minute. I think I saw Cheeky in the uh, comment section, but we got one more video. We're gonna play really he quick. Old man, he's sleep right now. He old man. No, he's not. He was here just a second ago. I'm, listen, I'm telling you, that man sleep. Okay, your old man. I don't blame him. Your I ain't nothing wrong with sleep. <laughs> Maybe he's still growing. <laughs> All right. So listen, this is the other part of the video that was interesting to me. One thing. Man, That's she true. sound like Tyreek Nasheed. I said problem. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't. I don't know who that is. <laughs> but um, step two, fun your life to not yeah. work. Mm -hmm. uh, and just like, you know, come out of high school and try to find a husband. Like, what do y'all think would be like the best thing for the women to be doing? What do y'all want to see from the women? To be honest with you, just going to come off harsh because I know uh, a lot of my favorite women are in here. 
I'm going to ask something that is almost impossible for women to give. What's that? Honor, duty, uh, prioritize, willing to sacrifice their own desires and wants for the greater good, even if they don't believe what they're sacrificing for is the greater good. Mm -hmm. That is impossible. So asking for women to do something that they cannot do is a waste of time. Uh, women have decided what they believe happiness is, what mm -hmm. they believe how they should live, not in poverty and all this type of stuff is the way life should be lived and all these things. They have their perspective. There's nothing you can do to change that. So right. I, I don't know how to truthfully answer that question. I know why you're asking the question because it's confusing information. If you wanted to be submissive, you wanted to work. I, I get it. What I what this is what I really want women to do. If you this is my honest opinion, right? I want women to be very, very successful, and I want them to do what men have historically done. Marry somebody that is below you. Oh. Uh, be willing to risk all of the money that you earn in your life. Have a family with a man that you may not be 100% sure that they're going to stay with you forever because most women divorce. Do it anyway because you know it's the right thing for society. Go through the heartbreak if you have to go through it because that's just being a human being. Can't say that's just being a man. I have to put that as just being a human being. You have to adjust now. You have to absolutely evolve and say, I'm going to do the things. If I'm going to evolve and be better and all these things as women are great, you have to then do greatness. You have to then do things that are called be beyond you. And that means dealing with the so-called men that are beneath you. Like if you're asking for men that are better than you, what you're going to do, because you're going to say, <clears throat> you know, equally yoked or at least make more and all this type of stuff. Ultimately, women want men that are better than them. I've, I've proven it over time. Yeah. Sneakily through conversations and all these ways. Now you're going to have to do the inverse. You're going to have to be the person of great character. You're going to have to be someone yes. that's uh, benevolent and take on a man that may not be uh, on your level and marry them, have children with them, and sacrifice. And I sacrifice. agree. All of the things that you're doing right now to be successful that you're getting allotted for, you're going to have to risk in order to stay on the projection that you're currently on, I don't see women wanting to do that. What I often hear women say is, man, oh. after that, I just rather share a top man instead of become greatness in which the men originally were. Right. So I think, um, like... Mm -mm, keep going. I think it's... I little... know on this, uh, on your show, y'all have, you know, stated that men have been behind most of the technological and you know all the advancements in society and sure. so i think if y'all start focusing y'all's efforts on uh getting to a point where men can actually carry and birth children that would be beneficial for y'all for everybody because <laughs> then the women could you know get with a man who was beneath her and not worry about You should have keep letting that play. I think there was another 30 seconds in there that you wanted to hear. No, nah, I think it ended right there. <laughs> the part about men birthing the babies was enough for me. <laughs> that was enough for me. But listen, I do want to ask a question. Um, what do you think about, I mean, this is actually, I know you were being sarcastic and I know men in the uh, comment section was like, Aaron is, is telling women to be leaders or what have you. But uh, what do you think about, and she was being funny too. But what do you think this is actually going? I mean, because like I said to you earlier, this is a wife, basically. What you described was basically a wife. You know, out not the part about the man, woman, the man being beneath you, because uh, you don't. We don't look at each other that way. Why does a man have to be beneath a woman if he makes an average salary? Why is that considered beneath? Well, I okay when I speak. I speak in the context in which women speak in so that mm -hmm. they can understand. So I'm using language in which they would normally use, even if it's not defined that way, it's the way women, women speak. So I'm, I'm, I'm utilizing language that they would understand. That's why I say beneath you. I don't believe a man is beneath you because he makes less money than you. However, they do. So I'm going to operate and speak in your voice, your language, your, your words, 
and see if we can have a proper dialogue. Because if I try to speak in the, which the way I speak, it seems like we own two different wavelengths. So I actually was not actually being sarcastic. I was explaining to her that if women believe that they have equally or surpassed men, because we were talking about uh, <laughs> the success that women have garnered and how they're uh, accelerating and all these, the excelling and all these things, um, the things that men used to do when they were excelling, because I'll, I'll be honest, men are taking a step back. There, there, there's a huge uh, societal issue with how they're dealing with men right now. And they're checking out. They're checking out of relationships. They're checking out of marriage. Like they're, they're checking out all type of things. I know that is. They're checking out of college. They're checking out of work. They're doing a whole lot of this because they just are, to a certain degree, broken with where society is. Because it's this theory that all men were always taking care of their families and successful and they didn't, they didn't help. A lot of men helped other men out. But now we're in a space where you can't really help other men because we're pushing for the advancement of women to, to the detriment of men. Hold on for one moment. Definitely. Definitely. But wait a minute though. I, I'm still confused. I must say confused on the thought of money equaling men or money equaling man. Who okay. said that? Who, who, where is this? I don't get that equation because a man could easily be making $60,000 a year. Okay. UPS driver, whatever. Yep. He's happy and he he's happy with himself. He's um, doing everything he needs to do. He's a single man. He's loving life. He has this apartment, whatever. He hadn't bought a home yet because he didn't feel it was necessary. He's by himself. But he's a man. He knows how to protect. He knows how to provide. He, he got it. He's all of that. Why is he not a man if he marries a woman that makes a hundred thousand or if he meets a woman that makes a hundred thousand dollars what happened to his manhood what what where did it go there's a certain level of authority that a man must have in order to feel like a man operate as a man and be a man because men have been taught that they have to negotiate with women whether that's the right information or not when you're growing up around women and you're seeing this on tv all this stuff is negotiations now. So men have been, uh, I don't want to say pigeon toed, but they've been given improper information. This is why there's this wake up thing. I, I almost sure that most men grow up with a Disney view of women. Mm -hmm. This is why this whole red pill stuff, because somebody said I'm red pill, but most people know I'm not. This is why this whole red pill stuff is so real, because when we grow up, we think our dads are the problem. We think the, our mom is the queen of the world and she she's a woman. She can't do no wrong. We think that men cheated on women. That's the reason why these women are so mad. And then we get our wake up call and we go, I didn't know a woman could do that. And this is real as it gets. Every man goes through this. I didn't know a woman could do. They was oblivious. I didn't know women do that. Dang. And they wake up and they go, oh, and, and, there, and, there, and there's a shift and they have to evolve and realize they behind. They behind. They're like, man, I was operating thinking women this way, and I'm so wrong. And now so let me. Go I gotta ask you another question because it's it, it just brings. It's, this is a ridiculous thought. Okay, first and foremost. But whatever happened to the woman, or is there a woman out there that would live within a man's means who was providing sixty thousand dollars a year as his income? So yes. so so a man being a man and presenting himself as that and saying the woman that I'm attracting or the woman that I'm going to be with is going to live within my means and he's going to lead with that. And that is who he is. And if you woman, once we're vetted, if this is what you want from me as a man, this is what you can have. Now are you telling me that women um, would look up at him and be like, nah, you ain't man enough. <laughs> These women. Yes. So I, I like to use myself as example. Like I don't have a lot of value in things, right? I, I, I've elevated myself to a level of freedom to where I no longer get value from like buying a shirt or a jacket or this, this, that. It's just a thing. It, 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 it's irrelevant to me. The value, the, the, the things that I value are people, right? Uh, 
I don't think women have got to that point where the the, the man is the most valuable to them in wow. lieu of sacrificing everything else. They want both. And there's no reason you should tell a woman she can't have both. Why can't I have both? I deserve both. And we we I don't think we're ever going to get back to a point where women operate. The only value that I need is this person when this person should be able to bring me these things and all they want stuff. And I, I don't know how to get around it. I understand the the economic impact of it. We're we're promoting women liking stuff, buying stuff, men on TV buying them stuff, saying if a man really like you, he'll do this. I don't want nobody to get me nothing. I don't want nothing. That's this part of the reason I don't even celebrate my birthday. I don't want nothing because I value people, and I don't want to be I don't want to be stuck to the value of things that are um, meaningless, thinking that it has value. And when I removed all those things of wanting things outside of that person, their time. Uh, their energy and that I, I'm as free as can be. But when I want stuff from people and things like this, that's when it becomes limited. Now, only certain men can provide certain resources, certain things. And I don't think women have a tempered desire. I think they have a elevated desire, the more and more stuff they, they may get. So if we can get to a point where you, where a woman sees value in people outside of value in things, without telling her that she has to settle or she can't have it all. Cause you tell a woman she can't have it all. She's going to get a man. She thinks she's selling for instead of she's going to get a man that is valuable. I, so I don't know how we balance those two things. Well, again, you're, if a woman doesn't know her value, then she wouldn't know a man's. So if a woman feels like that she can be out being sexually liberated, uh, making bad decisions or being a man's equal, then she doesn't know her value also because our value does go into building relationship and procreating with our child for ch with our man to produce children. So if we don't get that as women, then we will be no as of no use to you because we would never get the value. We won't. So that's that's actually where we're lost. We're lost there because a man a man is a man no matter what. Now if he hasn't achieved that, then I can see where you are. But a man that is working and he can provide, then he should be allowed to do so. But only in a relationship with a woman that can build with him. I didn't say build him. I'm not talking about building a man. I don't believe in that myself. I think men should come with a certain amount of provision and knowing what his role is as a husband. But I think uh, in a relationship, a man and a woman should always build together because that builds trust. That's actually what... Um, completes the oneness in marriage. And if you can't achieve that, then you just can't achieve it. And I'm understanding that women and men now may not be wanting marriage. But again, if you're not, just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Let it go. You're not the one. You're not the wife. And maybe you're not the man. But but when I hear men speak of what they want, it is definitely a tradition. <laughs> it, it lines up a lot with a traditional wife. It lines with a woman. Well, it, it's, Somewhat I, traditional. I am going to be letting men know to play in the game of the current environment that we're in. And I can no longer in good faith tell them to settle and just be a man. And no, you just have to be a man. Them. What do you mean by that? What I mean is that men typically just have to pull back from their own desires and, and, and realize they need to be the sacrificial lamb for everyone else to benefit. So I talk to people all the time. They're like, I might be, have to be the one. Uh, to make a change for my family. That means I don't get these things, these things, these things. And it goes to everybody else but me. And this no. is why a lot of men like, dang, I saw this man work 40 years. And he everything was for everybody else. And then she still divorced him. That that brings a broken spirit to men when they know what it takes to do those things or sacrifice that it takes to walk past women that you have the ability to sleep with. And it's not the same for women because y'all can walk up to men and get them it's not the same to walk past a bunch of women that you have the ability to acquire and sleep with knowing it's in your desire to do so and pass up and pass up and pass up and sacrifice sacrifice and then after about 40 years they take your money i'm telling you it is a broken thing so i it is I, very broken if that's your situation but i don't think i don't think a woman should sacrifice either i think a woman that is a wife should know her value and she should have very high standards and the things and she should want a monogamous man. I want no man for the streets. Well, let, let, me, let me just but say this again, because I've coined this. OK, women have to learn that yeah. um, relationships can happen, but monogamy is not included. Monogamy is earned. 
Right. No, monog monogamy is included in marriage. No, no, if no, you get married, yes, it is. If no, you, no, yes, no. It I, is. I, I said, OK, I said, OK, okay. I, I see I, somebody I, down there shaking their head. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. But the problem is how many people you talking to that are married? I a was, lot of them. Oh, you, know, you mean? So what? I, the women that you. you're going to be reaching out and talking to, they're not married. So they can't have no expectation of a monogamous man. And they also here's here's what oh, wait this is gonna hurt i'm gonna say two things and i'm gonna be quiet because it's gonna hurt they can't get a man to marry them without sleeping with them that's one mm. okay that's one okay and two they want to test him out before they marry him because they're gonna divorce him <laughs> if he ain't good enough to stay with him so i'm sorry l's all across the board i don't agree with you i think women if they uh, put standards they can preserve themselves if the man they both are on the same plane they both have the same foundation, they can both want and get the same thing. They absolutely can. They absolutely can. And guess what? Women can continue to play out here and be, you know, let me see how this one is and end up with maybe a hopefully not a child in trauma or they can preserve themselves and wait for the man that, that wants the same thing that they want. Now, listen, I'm talking about serious people. I'm talking about a woman that wants to be a wife and a man that wants to be a husband. Now, if you don't want that, this is sincere. This is this is work. This is not we're not placating. This is work. It's not a joke, but you can win in the end or you can spend all of your life wondering if this woman's going to take your stuff or you can be single and be by yourself and be out there, you know, being sexually liberated. But we got to figure out what works best for you, because guess what? You can lose your job. We already know that the value of a dollar has decreased almost to nothing. Right. So your money ain't going to be what it is. You know, oh. if it is money, it's not going to be it. You can't put value in money, especially okay. a woman. Well, if you convince women to, to leave the money thing alone, then you might have a deal. But it, is that happening? But and, listen, and, and, no, I, I wish no, I could. Not, no, not only are women not saying money, it's OK. They're making more money and saying, now you go make more money because they didn't make more money. So that way the family could be better. They made more money so they can get a man to make more money. That's how insane their minds work. Guess what? You put it all in the same pot, you got more money. No, they not put, listen, they not put nothing in the pot with a man unless he make more money than them. They're still, it's still not smart. If you, you put it all woman, together, you got you, more money. You think That's, a woman going to be making $100,000 and her man making 50000 and like, let's put it all in one pot, baby. She going to be like, I, can you make a hundred one thousand? And that way, the pot feel like we both go lose if we lose. I'm, this is how they think. I agree. I'm not. I'm not. But sometimes somebody got to wake up and understand that. Hey, wait a minute. If he's willing to put his in the pot with mine, and I only had half of what he had, then maybe he's a good one, and maybe I should put it all in and just see what happens. A good man work two, three, G, three jobs to make no, sure we don't want that. to be tired, come home, make sure I'm straight. And no, I'm telling that, that I don't want a man to play video games. Like, <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Men like video games because it brings so, some solitary to their lives. They just want to not if he yeah. got a good woman. If he got a good woman to rub his bald head when he come in, take his boots off. He don't want to play video games. Eight hours. Rub your bald head as long as she happy. Because everything is, is deriving from her happiness. Nothing is deriving from my happiness. It's all deriving from what I'm supposed to do and what my duty is. I'm not happy right now, but that ain't got nothing to do with what I got to do right now. That's Guess not going to work for them. Guess what? They will grow up and be a little bit more mature and, and realize that it's more important to be satisfied than to be happy. They uh, will. Uh, they gotta, uh, sometimes you got to live a little life. Sometimes yeah. you have to lose and see, maybe there's not a lot of ales that's been taken, but sometimes that, that, that grows you up and then you begin to understand what's going on. But anyway, let's say hello to Mr. Cheeky. Hey, SB, how you feeling? I'm feeling great. How about you? I'm good. And what's up, dog? What up, brody? I'm up uh, here trying to tell y'all about the good women out there. <laughs> Cheeky, I'm taking your note, though. I agree with you the other day. I do think that you all should raise your standards. And hello, Sherelle. Hey, um... How you doing? Uh oh, can't hear it no more. She may be moving, uh, moving around. She has like she's in the background she, or something. She don't have proper panel etiquette, so she she's trying to stay mute on your channel. Don't start. Damn. Damn. That's no noise. Yeah. Hey everybody, I thought y'all heard me. I'm sorry. 
We did, but you kind of went out. But but Cheeky, um, Aaron said you had something that, first of all, are you sleepy? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm actually well rested because I took a nap earlier in the day. So it's okay. over with. I'm up to like 2 a.m. Okay. Okay. We really want to interrupt that. Thing. <laughs> it, it's pretty so, much over with. Like, I'm going to be on the panel all day. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so listen, tell us about this. I agree with you just the other day when you said about the standards. And I hear what you all are saying about the women, too. And Sherelle, I know you're going to join in on this, but it, it is and it appears to be a woman out there that um, does not qualify to be a wife. I am totally agreement with you all. Total agreement. And I do think and I'm agreeing with uh, Cheeky because he said it, that your standards should be raised. Y'all shouldn't give these women your time at all. It's certain women y'all shouldn't even deal with. I agree. So. But Cheeky, Aaron said you would add something to the fact that um, I don't know. I guess he's trying to say they all like that. Is that what you is that where you go on, Aaron? Or is it that the model has to totally change? You just ask him the question. I, I'm just well, I, yeah, I don't know. Wait a minute. Saying. Hold on for a minute. Sugar bum. Ain't nobody talking about no oh, struggle. Oh. Love. Why is it that because you oh. don't make over six figures, you got the struggle? What are y'all talking about? What are you talking about? Why, why is it struggle? And, and guess what? Where is all these black people living in these mansions at and making these millions? Where sugar are bum, they? You owe me five dollars, sugar Wait. bum. I forgot. One my five dollars. Where, where are they? <laughs> my baby and mama then, owe you, money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? Yeah, your baby, how your baby mama giving him money? But guess what, y'all? Even if that's the case, let's just just keep it all the way real. You guys are going to make the most money in your forties and your fifties. Y'all ain't doing nothing now, but just playing around. You, you you really ain't got nothing. You might work a job and work a little hard, but you really ain't got nothing. You ain't accomplished nothing yet. You don't have that half a million dollar house or that million dollar house. You don't have it. Now, if you're going to get it, which I hope all of you do and I hope all of you win, typically it's done with a spouse. Typically. Typically. So... I don't know what y'all trying to hold on to as of right now. You need to be getting yourself together, aligning yourself to be a wife and allowing these men to be the men that they are, are supposed to be, I should say, and, and, and letting them take care of you. I never know women not to want to be taken care of by men. This is like so different. Oh, you ain't never known that? They don't no. want to be taken care of if they come with these conditions. I only want to take care is that of the question. I want to that, be taken care yeah, of. Yeah, is that no, that's what the rules is? Oh. That's what the no rules is. I've like, never known that. I, I, mean, I understand if I need something from somebody, I got to play by their rules. But you know, I, found, <laughs> go ahead. You know, I don't want to open all the doors. I don't want to lug all the groceries. I don't want to. I don't want to change the oil in my car. I don't want to clean my car. <laughs> Security boss was so yes. was so hilarious, right? As all of these women have dated men that make over two hundred thousand dollars, all these women will tell you, "I've dated right. men that make over six figures. I know right. what I'm talking about, and I didn't stick with him. Why? Because he came with a set of rules." It's, Can it's I not... have that? They lying. Oh, thing. Can I have that? They lying. They lying. Well, no, I, they liars. They liars. They liars. They liars. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, I'm just because saying. Look. You, let me tell you something. When you date a man that makes, I ain't even go two fifty. When you date a man that makes six figures or more, well, I might go a little higher than a hundred because that's easy now. But when you make a man meet a man that makes that much money, he treats you differently. It's it's a wine and dining. It's a whole different type of thing going on. And a woman don't give it up. Now, if he put her out the car or left at the restaurant, then you already know why. But it's not something that you give up and walk away from because that's what every. I mean. Most women, I ain't found one yet that didn't, but most women want to be wined and dined. They want the flowers on a Monday just because. They want the doors open. They want the champagne. They want all that stuff. They want the stuff. They want to fly out on Friday night and just go somewhere and come back on Sunday. They want that type of stuff. So if they've experienced that and they just gave it up, it was on them. Again, security boss, I'm just letting you know what these women are saying, right? I'm not saying that it's true or not. I'm, I'm just here reporting the news. News is in. Women are dating every single man there is and can't find nothing to be happy with. Even Ebony K. Williams. I've dated them all, she said, across the spectrum of colors, and she can't find nobody. There are women who make a lot less than her saying, I've dated them all, can't find nobody. So here's the problem. It's it's exactly what Aaron was saying earlier. 
they want these stipulations. They want to, to be able to stipulate what it is it, it means to be a man while the man has no authority of being a man. You can't tell me I make 200000 or even 100000 And then I go, yeah, as a person that makes this much, here's your responsibilities. You go, I don't want to do that. Get a maid. Get a cook. Go. I want everybody. I want I want people to. I want other resources to be used to to be who I supposed who I'm supposed to be within a relationship. That's exactly what they want. They want Voltron. I want to buy a chef, and then go buy a cleaner, and then go buy a babysitter, and then then let me just do nothing. So and then what he's saying, what he's saying <laughs> is, I'm, I'm gonna be quick, Asby. What he's saying is, man, make all the money to pay all of the big bills in this house, and then. I'm gonna go make some more money so I could buy the things that I like in life. That, that's so let me it. tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. If your house is not over five thousand square feet, you don't need a cleaner. You don't need a cleaning lady. That that five thousand gets you a half a million and up. If you don't have that, you don't. You need to clean your own house and you need to take pride in it if you have it. If you don't have that, then you need to keep on doing what a woman needs to do I'm to get it. My, I'm an entrepreneur. I, I only deal with men that, that don't work for nobody else. I want entrepreneur. And so since I need to work, I, we can get a maid. We get somebody, a nanny, take mm -hmm. care of that. We got to go get this money together. We're a power couple. That's their mindset. They liars, bro. They liars. Listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you something. My husband is an entrepreneur. Been one since the day he met me. But when there was a time he needed to get a job, he got one. Guess what? I have been a realtor. I have sold houses since 2021, excuse me, 2001, y'all, over 20 years, right? And there's many times where I made more money per year than my husband. Guess what it did? It all went in one pot because I knew what the plan was. <laughs> I wasn't dumb enough to say, you know what? Real estate doing real good right here in 05, 06, 07, because guess what? Eight, nine was coming. And when eight, nine came, he tripled me. So, so if I would have been like, oh, no, 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 I'm going to hold on to my five, six, and seven, 100 plus years, then what would have happened when eight, nine, and 10 came when I wasn't making but 30 per year? Because that's what happened. Y'all know what happened when the thing crushed, right? crashed, right? Crash. So we don't, you know, it crashed. So I wasn't making no money. But if I'd have been stupid back at six, seven, what, five, six, and seven, then I would have been hiding my money. No, okay. oh, no we, we get it. We look, listen. If see, we I'm trying to, to, but see, guess what? People don't say this to, in, to ladies, they don't tell them these things. They may be making two, they may be making a nice salary now, they may be, and it may be even 250. But guess what? That's today. Oh, don't That's worry. That's 23, I'm 24, changed. maybe 25. But what's happening in 26, 27? I've seen them during, during the eyelashes and all that. They was like, <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm watching everything. <laughs> Anything that they can automate to get the hair and all this cut hair, I'm watching it all. And all that job where these women making a lot of money in the hair business and girl, I, yeah, it's going to be a cold summer. It, it, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. So that's my point. Ladies, we have to think a little farther ahead. But guess what, though? We don't sometimes have the ability to think women down the street around the ahead. corner. You're right. You're right. They don't think farther ahead. They don't. But no. guess what? You learn to do so. You learn. You learn. That, that's true. They, you they will eventually think, learn after running into that wall. Bing. Yeah, wait, let's talk. get Sherelle in here. Sherelle, can you hear us? Yeah, y'all can hear me. Yeah, go ahead, ma'am. And and she, Chica, you can go right after her. I want to. I just feel like they be gaslighting so much. Who is that? I just know, like, who is that? Chica and Aaron, they're like the two biggest gaslighters on the internet. Um, I just feel like this. I feel like this whole concept of money is just like. I don't know where we find the women that be answering these questions, but the majority of people that work in America work at Walmart. Yeah, Walmart is like literally the biggest employer in this country. That's McDonald's. Mac McDonald's being Amazon like the is third. The biggest employer. No, well, Amazon would be still, one of them, but Walmart. Amazon and is one of them. Mac Walmart, mm -hmm. McDonald's, all top five. So mm -hmm. it's like if the. 15% of people make over $100,000 a year. 15% mm -hmm. of the country. So how are the majority of women dating men over two, that make $200,000 a year? Even if That's you're not going, happening. That's not real. Where's the gaslighting coming from? You just gaslight us. Y'all just, just, just set up. I don't want to argue. 
I'm just saying, y'all just sat up here and said these women want men to make two hundred thousand. Like, that's not what, what we said. No, that's, they that's said that the women told them that they've dated men that make two hundred. They know, 000. they know that the girls lying. So why even bring no, it up? No, they know, well, they know the girls be lying. No, no. no. security no. boss. Wait, security boss. Hold on, hold on. I, I need, I need somebody that's fair and and is married. Did I say that? No. Did anyone, on the, did anyone no. On, on the panel? We just mm -hmm. said what they said, right? Right. Okay. So, if and this is also what women are tell us, we don't listen and we don't believe them. So, when you start applying the things that they want us to do, now you have another woman saying, you can't do those things. You know they lying. So, it's like, wait a minute. So, what's the truth around here? Do y'all want to be married? Y'all don't want to? Do y'all? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. So, it's not gaslighting on my part. I'm just a news reporter. Don't get mad at me that the news is trash outside. <laughs> Go deal with <laughs> but the trash what, outside. But, but guess what, though? Let's, let me say this, though. Cheeky, that is kind of true because you on the panel the other time that the last time you were on my show, we said you said something that women do and want. And as soon as you got it out your mouth, the men told you, no, they don't. That's the first thing they said. Was, no, they don't. He was like, what? I'm like, what? Hey, why would you say that? If they say this is what they want, we have to accept that this is what they want until we see otherwise. But. That means that we're missing each other again because the women are saying the same thing. Sherelle just basically said it too, that you're gaslighting. You're not saying what's true or what you want per se, using other women. And men, y'all not listening to what the women are saying. I'm not talking about you two. I'm just saying in general, we already have seen that women can say X, Y, and Z and the men be like, that ain't what you want. You don't want so, that. So SB, right, this is what I've learned from my short period, well, my year and a half of being on YouTube. Whenever it benefits somebody, it's always the truth. Whenever it don't benefit them, now I'm gaslighting and I'm lying. So when I say women are the most educated in our demographic, I don't ever add that extra part. That's to say the most educated. When I was, whenever I say women are most educated, they're getting more money. They're starting to, they're more out educated than men. No woman in the world goes, you're gaslighting me. No, they go, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Y'all need to do better. And then the moment I go, these women say they date men that make over $200,000 and be on panels talking about it. I'm not saying this is public information. All of these women have said these things before. Now, all of a sudden, now you gaslight. Now you're not telling the truth. Out of the words of these women mouths, I just requote. And then I go, if this is the truth, this is or what you're saying is true. Here's the potential outcome. You can't you can't make it both ways. You can't be like, yeah, we doing better than y'all. Y'all need to do better. And then the moment I go. Y'all are saying y'all are dating men that make two hundred thousand dollars, and that's not enough for y'all. Y'all, y'all, two hundred thousand dollars isn't enough. So it's not about money alone. You want Superman. You want to. You want him to make all the money in the world. Then you want to tell this man what to do. You want a person that's on a controller, which is cool if that's what you want. But the idea that a man is going to be that way and he uh, he acquired that amount of money with no leadership skills and no ability to have any control is absolutely crazy. That's just my mm -hmm. thoughts, though. Like, I don't want to gaslight like nobody. I ask a woman, what type of man wants to make $400,000 a year? What, what, what type of mentality would he have to have? What type of motivation would he have to have? It, could you describe that said man? And I'm sorry to say, you think that man be like, yeah, I want to get with a woman that don't do as I tell her to do. And, you know, most likely would leave me and take my kids away. That, that, that's what in their mind they think that makes sense. Because they don't want to be controlled. No, I think actually that's a man that probably wouldn't even be married. Actually, if he decided to get married, he would probably have several options or uh, many women. Or he'll yep. use it as a business deal like mm -hmm. Bill Gates or anybody yeah. that got big money. You know what they do? I know I need a wife in order to get here or to some other rooms, but this is not my real chick. I got a real mm -hmm. chick. I got another chick that I got. the. And guess what? When that whole Melinda Gates thing happened, she wasn't shocked. She nope. didn't go no way. She was like, yeah, I know about her. He like her. He got with me because it was a good business deal. And he got with her because he like her. So listen, I I suggest to women all the time that we need to build with our men. Would you, would you suggest that they in some way build together? Would you call it that? Wait, wait, say, the, say that one more time. Would you suggest that they, because she knew going in what her role was, would you say uh -huh. that they built they build together because she left pretty 
Yeah, no, 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 no. If you look at Melinda Gates' story, I would say she helped Bill, but that's one yeah, woman. but 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 it's a different kind of Bill because she do going in. But I always suggest to women that they help build with their men because building builds trust. Okay, so so let me ask you this, SB. Mm -hmm. Is the building? Are you okay with building a building for two people and not one? Because you said marriage no. is monogamous. Oh well, then. no, 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 no. I the man that I marry, or the I'm suggesting to women, they have to have a man that has provision. It can't be no bum. He has to have provisions. We're looking for men with standards. He has to have provision. I'm not saying he needs to be six figured, but he could be a hardworking man at UPS. He could be a bus driver. You he could be what? That a huh? man? Do you understand? I know you do. I'm just speaking. Do you understand okay. if a man pay the bills in the home? And he'll never go on vacation. He just fine. Mm -hmm. he just, the bills is paid. We got some food. We not living lavish and nothing. But the day to day process is getting done. He to he look at life. That's a win. Women I agree. Don't, women don't look at that's a win. They don't look at that as a win. They look at that. That's the bare minimum. Like their favorite line is, uh, "You just want to do the bare minimum. You just want to do the bare minimum." That's their favorite line. Bare minimum is their favorite line. I, I hear that so much. I'm thinking to myself, what the hell is actually the bare minimum? Because I don't even know what that is. They just say it so much. And I, I might have to really do a whole show to truly understand what bare minimum truly is. But you know I what, Aaron? If that's the case, then we have to be very, very intentional, men do, on who they impregnate as far as their wives because – um, kids only add to your expense. And if we don't have enough money to go on vacation at all or to uh, enjoy each other, because I do think it's important that you and your spouse, husband, wife, enjoy each other. So if your woman wants to do something with you or y'all go to the beach, Myrtle Beach or something, it's not so expensive or whatever the situation may be. I do think you guys should do that. I don't think that's all extreme. I don't. But again, I'm the one pot person. So if he putting all his in one pot and I'm putting mine all in one pot, we we living together. Most what so. Aaron what Aaron is hinting at is the simplicity of lifestyle. Okay, I know, men. I mean, and the problem is the complexity that women want today. Now, as a here's what I'm gonna say, right? Because we keep we keep talking about these super high value extra two hundred thousand. I'm broke. I'm gonna just be honest. I'm broke. I'm a janitor, so I don't want to talk about money because it, it makes me feel bad. So let's deal with the person that doesn't make that. Let's say the average. I said person. that. I oh. said UPS driver sixty thousand. Okay, so, so SB, and that's the thing: the average person is a peasant to women in women's mind. They don't mm -hmm. think that the average person is actually a person. They think he's a peasant. You're Thank plebeian, you. right? So if, if they, my... if they, oh. if you look at how the mentality of of women think today, right, especially. God forbid that they're educated. Oh my God. And you don't have education. Not only are you a, uh, a plebeian, you're, a you're special needs. Like you're sped. Did you hear you heard what I told SB earlier, right? If you're not smarter than her, by default, you a dummy. And I give you the example. <laughs> I'll give I'll give you the example. If a woman is making eighty thousand dollars a year and you're making forty, she's like, I'm a woman. If I can make eighty. You as a man should be able to do at least what I'm doing. This is the verbiage that they use. So if she thinks that, she can't respect you. Because she already thinks, I'm a woman. You're a man. So if I can do this, you should at least be able to do what I'm doing. You must be lazy. You must be dumb. Why should I deal with you? This is the truth. That This is how women feel about and think about men. Ask Sherelle. She'll tell you. Sherelle, tell her the truth. Listen, I do want to get what Sherelle. All I need right. to get your opinion. Tell Sherelle, is this true? Do women think like that? If if they're making eighty and the men are making forty, they just degenerates. They're dumb and they're peasants. Do you think that women think that um, way about? Men? I don't think it's just like a total disrespect unless they're just a disrespectful person. But yeah, I do think that um, if a woman feels like I worked hard to get to a certain place, and men are in general are supposed to be better than women, then I want a man that's got to this place or higher. Because if you haven't then and that means you're not better than me. And if you're not better than me and I'm a woman, then you have issues. Yeah, I think so, that's true. So you being better, I heard you say it too. So be better, best, or what have you depends on the amount of money you make? Um, So women, yeah. 
because I guess they feel like oh, if a man is ambitious and he's smart, then that man comes with uh, a lot of money. Wow. Wow. That's because her, her ambition and her smarts has gotten her to a certain level. So if he had just as much ambition as her and just as much as smarts as her, he would be at her level. But if he's beneath her, then that means he's not as smart as her. He's not as ambitious as her. Now watch this, SB. Watch Wait a minute. Hold on. Aaron, I know what you're going to say. No, 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 no. Let me seal the deal. Watch this, watch this. I know what you get ready to say. Sis, sis, sis uh, me and Cheeky, for the person of this example, make $200,000 a year. When I walk into a woman, I say, what you do for a living? Oh, I'm a waitress. That's all you can do with your life? You a lonely waitress? <laughs> I get to the bag. What is you on? Like, I mean, no you I mean, women is doing different things nowadays. They 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 getting money. You a waitress? How long you been doing this? Four years? Listen, <laughs> no disrespect, because but you like we not on the same stupid. level. Like, like you're, you're, you're entitled to that though. You're entitled That's to what it, that. Listen, if men go and do that, they can't get better oh. men. That's the whole point that I'm trying to get you to understand. If you if you own a level, first of all. If any woman has a man, for the most part, they don't like that I say it, that man is smarter than them. They don't like I say it, but they look at that man like, yeah, he's smarter than me. It may not be in math. It may not be in English, mm -hmm. but they look at that man, that how he sees the world, when they operate and moving, he's smarter than me. You got it. If she don't see that, use dumbs. Let me draw. That, that's how they operate. And but it's think... even worse when you give them money. Because but I think it's more ex socially acceptable for men to date down than for women to date down. It's not about if social you if you if you marry a woman that works at McDonald's tomorrow, nobody will bat an eye, nobody will look at you crazy. Long as she's beautiful and she listens to you, everybody will give you praise, right? Yeah. Boom, she ain't got no kids, no she. You know what I'm saying? She looked presentable. She got all that. You could go pick a girl up from McDonald's and you could be a millionaire, and nobody will ever have an issue with that. Now, if there's if Oprah goes and finds a man at mcdonald's it's not just women who will shame her men will shame her ever the whole world will shame her because it's not socially accepted for women to date down like that so where actually so, can oprah date i wonder wait 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 that <laughs> if, if that's the rule <laughs> where can oprah actually date but before we do this y'all hold on because i want this is a good spot for me to actually read the super chats but before we do that aaron this is a good place to talk about how women have been incentivized because I don't believe that they are aware that a lot of things have been given to them. I think they really think that they've earned everything that they got. All right. So this is a good time. But before we do that, let me go over here to these uh, super chats. And Sugar Bum blessed us with a dollar nine nine cent super chat. Disrespect women. Funny, right? Okay. Sugar Bum. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Sugar Bum, for your dollar nine nine cent super chat. E, thank you for your $6.99 super chat. SB, black women are the most unmarried yet have the highest divorce filings. What do you say to the black men that want to marry black women but have, but have this in mind? Listen, I would say raise your standards. If any woman gives you any kind of pushback on your standards and what you want a wife to be, the blueprint for a wife, the, the woman that God says she should be, Keep walking. Ignore her. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Victim Olympics, thank you for your $2 super chat. We can't trust Odie, Odie Goldies either. <laughs> Odie Goldies, you can't trust them? Guess what? Don't. Go by your standards. Raise your standards and get some ethics about yourself and you will come out with a good woman, I bet you. Marcus, how you doing tonight? Hello, everyone. I with SB. <laughs> Jack, thank you so much for your twenty dollars super chat. He said, "I have to have too much respect for Aaron O not to support his YouTube endeavors." No homo. Do y'all really have to say that? I'm just yeah, wondering. You do. You have to say no homo. Oh my goodness. Uh, support your favorite content creator. I love SB. I wish you had a daughter so I could have a legitimate reason to respect a woman. <laughs> too many free spirits. <laughs> Listen, Jack, you get the twenty. You get the money line. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Jack, you got to give respect. That is something that we need to have for mutually, but definitely we want women to respect our men so we can get that good stuff back. How about that? 
BBB, what's going on with you? It's good to see you. Thank you so much for your ten dollars super chaser. You can't save them when they don't want to be saved. Sometimes it's better for us to just to put certain folks in the hands of the Lord and get out of this, his way. You know what? I agree with that all the time. Thank you, BBB. Omega Dreads Gaming Channel. Thank you for your dollar nine nine cents super chats. Once you get the revelations, it's no turning back. Hmm, but we don't know what it looks like beyond revelations, though. Um, again, thank you so much for your dollar nine nine cents super chat. I will not be Jesus on the cross. No, <laughs> you won't. <laughs> thank you so much, though, for your super chat. Dr. Steele says this is why vetting is important before you start a relationship. When you vet each other, you are finding out the minimum you would sacrifice for each other. Hmm. Thank you for that. Dre, what's up? I'm with USB. However, the culture is hypersexualized. Ooh. If he's not, not all of them, but anyway, if he's not putting it down, they will put him down. Uh-oh, sad but true. Outside ain't good. Mm, I like that. Crimson Family, thank you so much for your $13.99 super chat. Just showing support. Thank you. Machine 2, thank you for your $2 super chat. Me and making 200 k don't want Lakeisha, want them <laughs> Lakeisha with a mouth. Wow. You know what? I will agree with him with that. We don't. Uh, Y'all don't or shouldn't. Sugar bum, cheeky not. Uh-oh. Now, sugar bum, man, you're going to fall slap out if you say cheeky not marriage material. What is that why you decided to be his baby dad? Mama. She, she, security boss, she just mad because, like, we be, I'll be trying to, trying to amend the relationship. But she don't want to fight for us. She's just so worried about her. And I got to take I know, breaks. and then she's trying to make you wait and all that stuff, too. I don't know about her. You might need to go well, get you another It was too late. It was the summer of 06, and she was looking good, and she she thought I had enough flag to smash, so. <laughs> what, what, what? You know what? It depends. What color hair did she have that day? Was it pink, blue, green, or blonde? It was, it was the red weave with the track. The red one. You should have known that I wouldn't have day. Yeah, but she was bad, so I didn't care about all of that. <laughs> all right, well, we won't throw her away then. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's what he is. <laughs> the real Pookie, thank you so much for your $2 Super J. says, go outside, Chica. Your queen is waiting. So anyway, here we go. Sherelle, you brought us to a good point because you said that um, women have worked hard and they have ambitious and they've gotten to a point where they're now making a lot of money and taking care of themselves. And obviously I think what you're saying is they don't see that same um, vigor or ambition in their counterparts, which would be the black man. So they're, that's why they feel like the man is mostly beneath them. And uh, can we agree on that or no? Yeah, that's true. But that's, that's okay. just for the educated ones because all black women are okay. educated. There's some poor ones too. Okay, so Aaron. They, they poor and educated. Thank you. <laughs> I they, they poor and uneducated. I will go not off, all of them are educated. What? I will go Aaron off and Chiki, I don't got time for y'all today. I will go off up in here. Don't start. Don't start. <laughs> Look, man, Aaron, I Listen, saw you like you saw. That's dumb. That's the thing. Yes, I feel like this. Like Did you see me on Raw B channel? Can I, can I say something? Y'all being rude. No. What I feel like is every time we have these conversations, we either have the conversations with women who are $100,000 earners and educated. And I don't think that that's the majority of women in this country. The, the percentage of women who make over $100,000 in this country is only 11%. That's a very small percentage. There's not a lot of rich women, especially the black ones. Um, and then I just feel like or it's like the thought. It's like city girls. That's the only people we have conversations with. Girls that are like way too accomplished and they can't find counterparts, which is an actual issue, but they're going to have to deal with that. And city girls, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, who? where are the average people? Like, where? Like, why aren't we they always broke. talking to just they, they average Walmart workers, McDonald's workers, those, Target those workers? Are those Remember? are the regular people, the those lady who work at broke. the bank. Those people are broke. I'm talking about the women. I'm talking about the women who work at the bank, who work at Walmart, who work at Target, they who broke. work at McDonald's. Okay, you but know, if we have you a know conversation, what, let me if say we this have conversations you. with them, are they saying they want the 200K men? Me and Cheeky is the only broke dudes that's willing to cam up. 
the rest the rest of these guys doing pretty well. We we willing to cam up and have <laughs> we looking for other these women. To cam so up. let me let me you say this. Let me let me say this because I'm I, listen. Okay, Sherelle, you made a comment a minute ago. You said you feel like the educated women that actually have the conversations mostly make over a hundred thousand dollars, right? Yeah, okay, so listen. It's still um, a small minority of them. Right. And uh, and now women are bosses per se, right? They have different um careers and they're entrepreneurs and things of that nature, and they make make good money. They sell but, lashes. Okay. <laughs> and, and they sell hair too and things of that nature. I'm not gonna knock what they're doing. If they're making money, they're making money. But I wanna say this often I have conversations with those particular type of women and yeah, they're talking about having a good man, man, but I don't hear them knocking men the way that I hear women knocking men on these platforms. Oh, so they got a man? Most of the time they have. If they ain't got no man, they knocking men. Because if they're telling me that this, these is women, what I'm, this is what I'm getting ready to say. Me, these women are respectful. <laughs> they don't be knocking men, but ain't a they, man around. I don't trust them. Something is off. They're not knocking men in a disrespectful way. What I'm saying is they're saying I'm looking for a man, right? I'm not saying that what's out there is not good for them and they don't see it. Now, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying I don't hear them talking as derogatory. I, I never heard the ones that I have been around a lot. I don't hear them talking about uh, men are degenerates and, and Get your ish together. I don't hear them talking that aggressively towards men because on one side of them, if you just look at them, they're very feminine looking women. Very much so. Very, very much so. Uh, the feminine ones? So I um, said looking, looking, follow, follow this now. Okay, very okay, so, I was looking. hoping that it, it, it moved over from looking to being feminine, but that's well, that's well listen, listen, listen. This is where we this is where we're that? struggling because we struggle there because we still are acting as we still have too much to do as women. You kind of get what I'm saying? Like, for instance, if there was a good man that came into their life, they could they could make that easy transition because that's what they want. But for now, since they bossing, they have to do so many things themselves. They're beautiful women. They look good, but they have to take out their own trash. They have to go get the oil change. So they don't have that yeah. want that man there that that's you know, you know how easy it is to wait, get wait, hold on, change hold on. in 2023. Yeah, your early change is 15 minutes. Oh my god, that's uh, beside the point. I was just using it as an example. Uh, and, and I'm gonna tell you, SB, uh -huh. the um the people come and take your trash now. You just sit it right outside your door. Okay, did y'all like men who that. No, no, up. SB, I understood what you were saying, but the thing that annoys me as somebody that goes outside regularly, all right, and have conversation with just 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 a just because you're outside and that's the social thing to do. I'll be trying to learn social stuff because I'm socially retarded, right? I understand. So I'm trying to fix that. Okay. So when I talk to these women, they are nice about what they're saying, but in essence, they're saying the same thing. It does. Of course, this is why online, this is why I don't take online so seriously, right? Okay. Because there's, there's some type of social decorum that everyone has to have, right? You don't just talk to people crazy off the internet. On the internet, mm -hmm. You hear the real thoughts of these women. They get to call you bandits. We don't even know what that means. They call you whatever they want to call you in a chat room on the internet because they know in actuality, in real life, things is not that sweet. You can't just be like, you a this, that. So what we hear on the internet is the unfiltered thoughts of men and women. Mm -hmm. And when I go outside and I talk with these men and these women, they're experiencing the exact same thing that the men are talking about on the internet. They just have a sensor to it. Cause you need to be politically correct. Even the weird people I'm talking about, like the people that go to the, how do I put this? So what you the, get ready to say? The, 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 the friendly community, the, okay. Even those people happy are having mm -hmm. issues and they, they're, they're different. They're, they're open to any and everything. Everyone has complaints about what's going on right now. <laughs> but I think I think the most what I'm talking about is this these people that I'm talking about, the women that I'm speaking of, they would never say that they, they that they didn't need a man. They will always say they need a man. But I'm not saying that they're willing to be wives either. So are they saying I need a man, but it gotta be the right man? That that you needs know, to follow that sentence. They may not say it just like that, but it equals the same. So some of what Cheeky's saying is absolutely correct. 
but they 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 will not say that they don't need one. They won't say that. It's just that they don't have the whole picture. They don't, and it's because mostly I think it's because there are not enough men for women. Yeah, it's, it's competing. It's time to start competing. It is. I mean, so they got to put it in that work. But the thing is, is women don't know. We're not sure of what our value is. So we do a whole lot of exterior cleaning up. And then um, we don't get the mindset onto what men really want because we don't listen to what you already want and we don't understand you guys. So that goes back to what Aaron was saying earlier. I think it was you, Aaron, when you said uh, women don't understand men. They do Didn't understand. No, no. Aaron the says problem. they don't. Okay. So I don't believe they do. His viewpoint is they don't. My viewpoint is they do and they don't care. Like this is not, this is not anything that is new. I don't think women are, are mentally challenged. I think they, the, the degrees say otherwise. They're willing to understand and learn or at least regurgitate at the very minimum something to get a grade. They can understand that most men act and behave a certain way. They just don't want to acquiesce. They understand that. There's nothing hard about this. They just don't want to do it. So if okay. I say, hey, I'm a, as a man, I'm good morally, whatever, because that's subjective to some people, whatever you consider good, I am that. I treat you well. I show love and respect you, but I make 50 or under. And you make 150. Let's just say that, right? Because all these women are doing better than men. And they're so quick to throw that out. Although the stats will show even, even marriages, there's only 30% of married people where the women make more than the man. That number is slightly increasing, but 70% of men still out earn their, their spouse. So as much as they're doing better, the money is not adding up with them doing better. But either way, let's just rock with it, right? Let's say you make 150 and I make 40. I, and I come with all those attributes. It's not enough because it's still a power dynamic, right? And this is something that Sherelle said. It's not, it's not socially acceptable for a woman to date somebody that works at McDonald's and she make more money. But the problem is they're trying to change society. So that means that needs to change as well. If you if you are a feminist and your ideology and your viewpoint or not even a feminist, if you just a strong, powerful woman and women empowerment and your idea is to change society on how we view women. That means we need to change society, uh, change society view on you spending money on you being the provider. That makes sense. You're not having babies. You don't want babies. You're not having babies. The world fertility rate is plummeting. What are you doing? I'm getting education for what? Because it looked good for me to just say I'm smarter than you and I'm better than you. Okay, cool. So since you're smarter and better, be the role of the smarter, better person. Pay the rent, baby girl. No. Um, that's what I no. said. No. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. SB. I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not getting ready to get behind y'all on that. I No, I'm not. Men need to be men and women need to be women. So listen, I'm agreeing with both of you all because Aaron says that women don't or don't or need to understand men. Cheeky said they know men and it's not nothing new. The reality of it is, is women don't know their roles as wives. And if they don't want to be it, we totally understand. And y'all need to be able to identify the ones that don't want it. But the other ones that want to be wives and want the men to be an authority and love on them and take the trash out, even set it outside the door and all that good stuff that we have to offer each other, all that catering that we do and all that loving that we do that everybody just loves and adores, then we need to be in our roles. I, I think that I, I think I'm and if y'all don't want that, y'all are crummy. No, I, I think I'm starting to figure this out because at first I'm, I'm battling because. <laughs> What you say makes sense when you look at natural instinctive things and all this stuff. But what I, I think this is what we're starting to not understand is that younger people evolve very quickly because of how technology makes our minds shift. Like, well, like the old phone, it don't work as good as the new phone. And we need to adjust to this new environment of the new phone. It's similar in relationships outside of the core things of being a human. If we don't need to take out the trash no more and there's a system in place, somebody will pick up the trash, we have evolved to that's normal. If we don't have to go out, no, just listen, we don't have to go out and get food no more. We can door dash it in. We have evolved to that's normal. And we're willing to adjust because we've been programmed 
to just be quicker at adjusting and adjusting, adjusting to newer forms of different things. So I think what you say is fair. Yeah, get a man to take out the trash and things like that. I think women have evolved to saying, I don't really need a man to do that no more. It, it may feel like I do, but honestly, I've evolved. And there are so many other systems, other mechanisms in place to help me operate in lieu of this said action. So I no longer require men to have to do this. So I extremely want a man to do this since I no longer require the other uh, ancillary things that would have made him more attractive. Now, because I can pawn that off to four or five other places, I really need 80% to you to really do this one thing that normally I wouldn't be so stringent on because you did so many other things. But since that has been eliminated, I think people are more uh, more, more buckled down on I have to have this thing. And they're not open to, to restricting uh, their demands on certain things. I think that's really impacted a lot of things. I agree with you, but I, we shouldn't be concentrating on necessarily the trash. It wasn't about that. It was just about the, it was just it was about the companionship. But I got a question for you. What's best or what's more reliable as of today? The gasoline car or the electric car? Reliable. Um, yeah, what do you mean by that? Because it can mean two well, things. He just gave the example of how um the things that men did in the past due to all the technology. And, and all the conveniences that we have now that women may say that they don't need a man for certain things. So I just went back and got something that's been around for a very long time, the gasoline car. And see, we're going to share how reliable it is and how it's been getting us around for a million of years. And now we have this electric car that you can't go but, what, two hours with it and it's going to break down on you. So you can't put your confidence in that. So I was just wanting to know what y'all had to say about that. Well, so you, you forgot about the third car. Which is what all I'm not talking about the third car. I'm just talking I, about those two. I, I, we okay, can actually get a blast. Security, <laughs> security boss, I know you're not talking about this too, but I'm gonna tell you how the answer is gonna be answered because okay. that's how women answer the question. There's a okay. hybrid. There's a hybrid car. <laughs> There's a gas yeah, car yeah. and an electric car, and, okay. there, and it really is a hybrid car, and that's what they're looking for. And, and guess what? Guess what? Here, here's the added thing. We go. To, this is this what me and Chiki do. In California, in a few years, you're going to only have an electric car to purchase new. So Listen, where I live I matters. Said today. I said today. I know, and guess what else? Them hybrids are the ones that you, you at the stoplights, catching on fire. And Check it out. The whole thing. See? Gotta have See? That's period. what we're doing right there. Mr. Boss told you, be blowing up. Them hybrids is the <laughs> ones that blow up at the stoplights. So look. But that's, but look, that's me, no, no, no. But, here, 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 here. Here counter that, but that's your hybrid. That's not my, <laughs> that's not my experience. Look, look, that's look. not my experience. I know it's not that. I just went with what you went with because you said what is best and all these conveniences and the norm and all of that. Because guess what? I have been known to create my own reality just because everybody else is out there doing this. You know, some re, some. Want to get on the uh, public transportation? They don't even care about a car. What about them? They still getting where they want to go. But my point I'm trying to make is, sometimes things are just good, and if you can have that, then you should create that. We should always look for conveniences. The microwave is killing us right now. Y'all know that. But anyway. We shouldn't always look for conveniences, especially when we're talking about relationships. No, a man may not need to take out the trash, but I happen to think that men can teach things that women don't know very well because they do have a logical side to them. That is, I mean, it shows up. I said earlier in the uh, this live that I hear gunshots. I am screaming. Mr. Boss is pulling his weapon. It's just automatic. Now, I would hope all men have that kind of a reaction. I don't know, but we it's needed. It is something that women need. They need to know that they need to be covered and we don't have what it takes. Just you gave the example, Aaron. Some women don't even know they need to look at the car that's riding beside them to see if the man is, is or does have a gun or whatever. They just be driving. Don't be looking at nothing around me. Guess what? We're getting hit over the head. We going to we working at what Home Depot uh, Lowe's during the day and men are attacking or what have you. Uh women now are jumping out the car with baseball bats attacking. Let me tell you, I wouldn't, a woman could never attack me with a baseball bat. 
I would never be that defenseless. I'm, my head is so much on the swivel. So we do need to be taught certain things. It, it, it's a reason why we both exist and we exist together. So all the conveniences in the world doesn't take that away. But one thing, of her, fact, statement, one thing her statement was, I, I've never, ever had that problem. I've been driving this way for my whole life. So I don't, I, I'll, I'll be just fine. And what that means is that if a woman is operating without a man for a substantial amount of time, yes. she's adjusted to not needing to be protected or thinking it matters because men know it only take one time. For women, it's, it ain't happened to me yet. That's not my experience. Like, me and Cheeky don't be like, that's not my experience. We'd be like, yeah, bro, that could happen because we understand anything could happen. So let's put some stuff in place to prepare for any type of thing. We don't want to say, that's not my experience. But that's all we hear all the time. I agree with you on that. I totally agree. So you're right. But getting back to the convenience of, of it all, if anything can happen. We should also have a, a look, an onlook on life as though there are all these conveniences that we have now, they may go away or something could happen that's very catastrophic that we have to go back to basics. So we would have to know how to eat differently or to find food differently or to fend for ourselves other than what we're doing now. So yeah. that is still a thought. So if we go back to those times, we never we're not going back to those times because if I'm we not, do, I don't want to go back. I know, but if, but they love to say, what if we what if this happened? You need to be able to if we ever go back in time, which I have argued so much against, uh, ladies, you gonna need I don't so go much back. protection that you gonna jump on any man that can protect. Well, you know what? We ain't got to go back that far because COVID was in what 2000, 2001, 2002. It wasn't, it wasn't deadly enough, 2019. Huh? What, it was hard to get that water and that toilet paper. What you saying? It wasn't, it wasn't deadly enough. Listen, me and Mr. We, Boss went we, to Sam. I had to have his back. I had to be watching because people were like knocking you down trying to get that water and it, that. It wasn't deadly enough. We need lions and tigers and bears. Oh what? my! <laughs> like for in order for women to really find a need for a man, there's got to be a nuclear attack tomorrow. Like, and then they're going to be like, you know what? Maybe I should, the, 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 the people that has the doomsday preppers, they're all men, by the way, just to let you know. And most of them tend to be married. And the other ones that aren't married, they have male friends that help them. So all of those men are going to be the prize now. We need something super deadly in order for a woman to see value. But, like, like, I don't think, I don't think we realize how far gone we are. It's over. When we start talking about primitive technology and, the, this hunter gatherer mindset, while it may be a part of us to some degree, we've we've escaped those things by making things very convenient. And mm -hmm. even when even even in third world countries, the technology that they have now is thousands of years ahead of primal. So we need things that are kill us in order to be valuable to women. Mm. Like, I've never seen I've never seen a woman go, I'm a feminist with somebody robbing them at gunpoint. I just haven't <laughs> seen that. What I typically see is. Let me all right. Let me hide. Let me do so. And then the the guy is doing the same thing too. But if it come down to it, who's expected to fight? Like we need life threatening events on a regular occurrence to make women understand. Okay, we still have value. Because as of now, when you get a degree and you're sitting at a desk or you you're doing a corporate job and you answer emails, the first thing popping in your head is not oh no, a saber tooth tiger's coming after me. It's oh well, I got to go get something else done. We're not living in those times anymore. And since we've made those things very uh level for across the board for both men and women although women are getting all the like you were saying they're getting all the benefits there's a push there's an initiative they email you about the initiative they yeah. have no problem women empowerment work that they it's i'm like this is sexist i wouldn't know i'm a janitor so when i'll be walking my people computer i see it so what i'm saying is we need something more dangerous COVID was not dangerous enough we need something that like I mean, it was good enough for me. I, I understand what you're, you're saying, though. And I agree. <laughs> Look, I enjoy being married. I don't know. I I, I don't want the struggle. People listen, sugar boom talking about struggle love. I'm talking about struggle being single. What listen, I don't know. Sherelle, what do you think about this? What do you think about the incentives that women get? Cheeky the janitor has just told you Cheeky's a janitor and he got a baby mama here in the he comment section. You're right. My know. baby mama is, is love. She but really what do you think about that? What do you think about these emails he say he's seeing? 
as he walked by and had I, the women. I, 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 I don't think that COVID was that bad, to be honest. It was lit. It really wasn't that bad. So you didn't have to go to the store and get the water and the toilet paper and stuff like that? You know, what I mean? um, we got we pretty much stocked up before it happened. Like, you know, we was outside. COVID was a time. It was a mm. time. Like Cheeky we said. Outside. Everybody, was, everybody was getting money. <laughs> it was like, I don't know. Uh-oh. But I was at, see? See? What did I tell <laughs> you? COVID was, at, <laughs> COVID was, everybody was getting money. Everybody was lit. Everybody was rich. You know, we had that, like, couple of weeks where they didn't have, I mean, I don't know. We never ran out of tissue. We kind of had a lot of tissue in the house already. Oh, that was good. Hard to find a uh, hand sanitizer so you're talking about for that, You're talking about the the stimulus, the six, the extra six hundred dollars a week well, for I, unemployment and stuff like that. They was everybody was rich. They didn't have no clocks for truck drivers. Like we was getting paid extra money. Fuel was like ninety seven cents, like for diesel. It was, oh wow! So it was a time. Yes, you like know, oh, what, uh, gas dropped to 87, 80, 85 cents. What I don't Dora, remember. Yes. That I don't know. Oh, I wasn't trying to go nowhere too much. But listen, our business kept going. We didn't. We didn't benefit like that. We got more business actually, so we benefited that way. But that was like a three, what thirty trillion or three trillion dollar, you know, you know, debt that we went in to do all that. Hold on, my microphone is messing up. Did y'all hear me? No, that no, was like no, a, it's fine. Yeah, I, I think this inflation is worse than what COVID was. Inflation is crazy. What do you think that inflation is a, derived from? <laughs> no, I know it comes from that, but I'm saying that wasn't a harsh time. Inflation is a harsh time. Again, security boss, I'm telling you what's needed. We Since we know saber-toothed tigers don't exist, the next step is aliens. Whenever they start invading, we're going to get right back to... We're going to get right back on schedule. They're going to get right back to... We're going to get right back every... <laughs> Everything will be normal. Matter of fact, I suggest you watch a movie. Right, the the movie is called uh, "Don't no. Breathe" or no, si what was what was it? It's the alien movie where you can't make noise. All right, and the second one, this woman is pregnant, has a baby. It's it's something that I would really explore. Right, I know what you're talking about. That first one, the woman was wait a minute. They were on the porch and they told them yes. "Don't breathe," and that the little boy. Oh, I remember that one. And then the alien came and got him. So there's uh -huh. a part two. If you watch uh -huh. the part two. It'll it'll put it. That's what needs to happen in order for things to be back regular. But up until uh, unless unless um, aliens come invade and women find a need for men in that way, we're not being, we're not valuable to them. They make money. With, she, you just heard you just heard this businesswoman, this gra this college graduate next to me talk about how she was just thriving. Right? She didn't need no man ever. Uh. Why would you need that? They cost more money since uh, diesel fuel was eighty six. Did I did I did I say all Everybody? that stuff? Or is she oh, said, calm like, down. Don't interrupt the man. Learn. Yes, <laughs> like you <laughs> Look, respect that man. Respect Cheeky. that man. That's <laughs> me. That's me. Get her. I don't. I don't I'm hearing you, no man. respect. I'm hearing no respect, and I love Sherelle. Sherelle came to my class a couple times. Sherelle, I she came to what class? Oh, oh, the ooh, wife Ed. Ooh. You know, y'all know I was going to wife Ed. Don't, don't gaslight the situation. Oh, okay. I had to make sure. I did, she said the class. I need to know which class. She didn't. I was, I was class. wondering if I was supposed to tell it or not. I didn't know if she kept it a secret. I didn't know. No, y'all yeah, think y'all think Sherelle is that woman, but Sherelle is actually that woman. Yeah, she she the one that's gonna prove everything that I say when I say. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is that woman? Sherelle. Yes, yes. Sherelle, I'm on your side. I'm not gonna let them talk. I'm not gonna let them talk about you like that. That's not true. They, SB, they love me the most out of all. Sherelle the did. Ex but Sherelle, they just like I can't. Bully me. Mm -mm. I don't believe that. You know, I'm I'm about to be out done with you guys. Let's read these super chats really quick. Mr. Boss, did you say I have some super chat? And then I got to get out of here. I don't know, y'all young folks, they're way too late for me. Robbie Cheeks, thank you so much for your two dollars super chat. Cheeks, Cheeks called the what? Community weird. <laughs> he did, didn't he? He called a community weird. He did. Uh, polite citizen. Thank you so much for your $2.20 cent chat. Black men want a deal at all costs. Black women, the opposite. Simple. Hmm. Y'all want a deal? I don't know why y'all make it so hard, though. Y'all just I love each other. Paid. They got to pay me. Ain't nobody paying you for being no man. They are. What, what, where they, they do that at? 
You whoa, about to find wait, out. Whoa, you about to find out. Calm down with all the massage or uh, misandry, please. You heard me. You need to get paid too. You you heard me? About. Y'all ain't told me yet how much it cost. Uh, we, we, we still are uh, drawing up the prices right now. <laughs> It, look, look, keep in mind, keep in mind, inflation is real. Oh yeah, you know what? Prices just went up. Thank you. There for you that. go. Thank you. Go. Keep in mind, <laughs> Kai. Thank you so much for your five dollar and fifty cent chat. Uh, excuse me, super chat. Uh, young women may not feel the need for men, hmm. but successful women, forty plus, I know that. I know that. Don't have a man regret it. Uh oh, I have seen it and I have been told it. All right, so y'all hear this. Ladies, Kai has just said, she know when you're young, I'm going to give it to what, 20 to 35? You act like you don't need a man, but she absolutely knows when you get 40 and you don't have one, you're walking around with regret. Enjoy your life. Get you one early and have fun. <laughs> Mr. Boss back here. <laughs> and have fun. Have fun. Don't miss out on anything. Polite citizens, black women, um, mm, black women are suffering from violence, disease, poverty, etc. How much worse does it need to get? Oh, wait, wait, wait. See, and here's the problem, security boss, because if I look at those stats, the violence is coming from black men. The disease is coming from them having sex with <laughs> black men. The poverty is coming from all black. Look, it's easy to counter these points, especially when you have, like when you deal with enough women. The, the, the violence is coming from statistically is coming from black men. That's that's not a lie. That's not false. The disease. I don't I guess they dealing with the, each other. I think they buy. I already told you what I think. So they may be passing. Each Wait other a disease. minute. You saying they can pass it? Whoa. Whoa. They may, they I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. They passing their own diseases and then poverty. I don't know. You'd be educated and broke. There's a lot of them out there. But the violence thing, you can't really use that one because then they'll be like, well, it's black men that's causing violence. And statistically, it's true. Well, the violence. question, though, is how much worse does it need to get? Listen, we I don't wish this on anyone. I happen to think a husband and a nuclear family would take care of all of that. What, don't y'all think that? I mean, where would the violence be? You know, I, it's possible, I guess, you could marry a man that was um, suffered from DV, but I would hope no one would marry a person that would want to beat them you or will. be abusive. And I would hope you would vet well enough that you wouldn't be caught with that type of husband. But the disease and and what, Aaron, are you no, saying something? No, you, you find it just you at the ages of 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 women then graduate college. Few, if they are now able to get these HR jobs, few years, they make it 90, 100 grand at 26 years old. I you know HR. Right? Yeah, I had to, right? If that is the case, no children, freedom, some money, ain't got to listen to no man, tell them what to do. What do you think these women want to listen to go and have to deal with a man that has rules, authority? No. This is why Kai put that chat in there. The young women, don't, they ain't checking for men on no, hey, I want to build something. I want to make sure some a man is structured in my life. They not checking for that. They got that bag. They ain't got no children that's holding them down from going to, uh, out of the country because all women love to travel because they all travel. I've already proven that. Every woman travel. You like to travel? Yeah, I love traveling. Ask any woman if they love traveling, they're going to start going off about all these places they ain't never traveled to, right? They don't ah! want to. But here's the problem. They still want to open their legs. And I know that sounds crazy. I have to keep repeating that. If they happen to close their leg for 10 years and then go, okay, where my husband at? I believe they have a very, very much higher chances for that to happen. The problem is they want to have fun on the boom, boom room, a few, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 15, 23 times, 27 times, and then find a husband. That and is by the way, problematic. they're making that part of their requirement. You can look these things up, security boss. Women do Ooh. not want virgin. Women do not want virgin men. Right, you can. No, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, let me finish. Women do not want virgin men. They don't want male whores either, though. All right, let's clarify that. They want something in between. As a matter of fact, a survey has said that women aren't willing not to have sex before marriage because they care about the experience, the sexual experience that they or that they're going to get. And women will tell you outright, no, I don't want. Yeah, like I'm, I want to have sex before marriage. How I know I'm going to like it. They're, they are thinking and behaving very hedonistic. And marriage is a very wholesome. Exactly. And, and wholesome I agree. Thing. So but if listen, you're asking for heathens and hedonistic people to be wholesome, 
you're asking for something that just won't happen. Like I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. I'm I, I can't. I'm I I really have no value. Right. Sugar bomb is absolutely right. I'm not husband material. I'm not gonna sleep with you before I get married. And I'm not gonna and I'm not gonna be toxic. And those are the two two things women want. I don't want so you to so see you're a heathen, me. yeah, right. But listen, though, I understand and I agree with what you're saying. But what we're trying to do is have women raise their standards. So all those things you things you spoke about, they'll know that that's not what they want to do. They don't want to be heathenistic. I mean, cheeky, just like you realize that ain't what you want. There's women out there that can also get a word and understand. That they don't want to be undetectable or detectable, you know, they don't want the disease. I mean, it's just that it's just we're so far away from that message, it's not being heard. But mm. if okay. somebody so, it, listen, can you, can you clarify that? That last part you said they don't want to be detectable. What you mean can you <laughs> you know that the HIV commercial they oh, okay, they, I got that, that. <clears throat> they be saying oh, take yeah. this pill and you'll be undetectable because they they made everything that is wrong right instead of telling you not to participate in something they gave you a way to participate in it to supposedly make it better for you but we have to understand it is not making it better for us I mean so the thing is you don't want HIV right so why not teach not to do this in order to get this instead of telling you, Oh, we got a pill now that you could be undetectable. It wow. feel good. Security boss. Women like sex too. It don't feel that good. The pill not good. for, uh, the pill not for women though. Listen, if, if someone told you all or anybody oh, that right before you have sex with this person, but they this, get it could from the women. The, this could be the one that gave you HIV. I bet you, I bet you they would not do it. This could be the one. It's just like that Russian roulette. You know how you put the, the ammunition in the gun and you spin it around and you'd be like, that could be the one. See, that's how you should think about it because there are so many women and men who did not think about it and they are affected by this and it's not okay. It is not okay, but they'll have the commercials and they'll be smiling and they'll be doing all this, making y'all think it's okay. It's not a, it's not a death threat anymore. You can live your life this way. Really? Then you have another woman on TikTok saying, yeah, your wife got it. I gave it to her and I gave it to you too. All oh, y'all sit just like me. Come on. What? Let me get back to this. these super chats. Red, thank you so much for your $9.99 super chat. I hear, wait a second. I hear this too much. We need a nuclear family. Yes, regardless of status. If a war has to break out today, AA, African-Americans would be nearly wiped out. Black men don't even have that type of ammunition or protection to begin with. Oh, I don't know what black men you talking about. So, but, uh, so, um, black men around me have exactly what they need. And I'm going to try to get Mr. Boss to build a bunker so we can this, all be free. This is a ridiculous statement, but, but, though. They would have got rid of us a long time ago if that's... Go ahead. Go ahead, Cheeky. You was getting ready to say something? I'm just saying it was... Again, it, it's one of uh, it doesn't matter because I didn't say African American. I said men, right? Because uh, to what what black people tend to do, which is why it annoys me so much, right? Black people are so closed and simple minded sometimes. Very narrow, very narrow. And yes. it makes me just think something got to be wrong with us genetically. I don't know what it is. How can you focus only on one thing, knowing that everyone is has, having the same complaints? I don't hang around just black people, right? <laughs> I like my life. I like being. I like feeling safe to some degree. Especially black women, you know what I'm saying? They all fight too. I, so I'm not safe around black, black people. What makes you think I'm gonna just stay around? No, my my crowd, my crowd of people I hang around is diverse. So everyone's having issues. Everybody, stop thinking that it's just a black and white, black and uh, black woman and black man thing. It's not. It's not. I just told you that even the weird, like even the the happy people. They having their own problems, so it's it's kind of over with. Like humanity is 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 having a hard time. All right, right now it's just a hard place. I can't wait till the aliens come and start adopting half of the chat. All right, <laughs> get rid of them. You remember the uh, Great Depression? We in, we in the the depression of the relationship era. I agree. It is very depressing too. But guess what? Hopefully we come out of it, and it's going to be different. So Aaron, I agree with you with that. But I still think. The basics are the basics, and the way that you were um, created is still 
that's what's going to be applied. A man is not going to change. And if, if, if they do, then it's a big problem. We got to stop it. And I do realize they're trying to get rid of the masculine man. I already know the war against the masculine man. I get it. But that's what y'all need to fight, the war against the masculine man. And then women need to just become women and wives and stop trying to be equal or equivalent to a man. And I don't know why y'all want that job right. anyway. But right. anyway, how can we fight up? Oh, we got one more. Go ahead. Saying. How can we what? How can how we fight can, what? How can people fight a battle that they can't see? Huh? Right? They, how can people fight a battle that they can't see? Why they can't see it? What do you mean? Okay. I can see it. For Like, for example, Aaron, or not even Aaron, but well, Aaron would know because of his particular job, but stats have already come out that financially women are not the most in, the most apt all the time, right? Like, they're the, the biggest consumers, the biggest spenders, right? When it comes to debt, the debt to, uh, what do you call it? Income the debt ratio. to income ratio, is, it, it, it's incredible, Right. And they're not it's not like it's business expenses or it's not like it's, it's loans to start a business. And I'm sorry. I, I know we have this idea that every black woman has a business, whether it be eyelashes, weave, but they don't. Right. Some people are just going in debt because they want to buy a new TV. So when it comes to financial decision making. Right. And there's two things that tend to happen. Men are more risky when it comes to financial decision making skills, which means a higher risk, higher reward. And women are not when it comes to spending money. Women tend to spend more money than men. And men tend to conserve more money unless they're making investments, which they make a lot more risk involved, which means so everything from the invisible thing that he's talking about is money. Like money is not a real thing to a lot of people, especially women, though. Right. It's something that's on your debit card that you just swipe. It's not something that's tangible or you understand. So the women that are business minded and focused in that way, they're the ones that tend to be able to see this problem and go you know what i can adjust for it but not every woman thinks like that right that's why i said we need something tangible you do realize i didn't say a financial scare because we're already there once this bubble bust we're broke i'm already broke i'm gonna be homeless so what we need is a legitimate physical threat because that's the only thing that women will acknowledge they will acknowledge alien if something come down and suck aaron up out of his room in, in an alien oh, pop on the screen. Pause. Scaredy <laughs> boss. Scaredy boss. Scaredy boss. We, we don't believe that, right? Wait, no, no. But what I'm saying is, security boss. Oh, you, we're oh, going back to the. We're going back to the Paul conversation. That you do. We really have to do it. I said something. I didn't say the gender, right? <laughs> they they gay for thinking that. But what I'm gonna say is, they. Uh, what I'm gonna say is, it. We need some physical, <laughs> tangible thing to just grab and, and and scare women because it's not it can't be it can't be loneliness you don't know how to measure that till you're 40 <laughs> unfortunately it can't be it can't be stds because you don't see it until it start burning it can't be um it can't be uh uh um uh, uh what do you call it like integrity because they don't care about it and it's not something that's tangible it can't be character we need something physically to literally kill a bunch of people to for them to go it's real it, and then even that may not be enough if god came down from heaven again as jesus christ reincarnated for a second time and he said yo y'all messed this thing up women are gonna be like this nigga ain't this and and, he, and it's, it's gonna be crazy they that disrespectful they, that okay disrespectful. but okay so you don't think okay so they always the feminist group they're always quoting um black women are being deleted uh, five, what, every hour or uh, five, you know, a certain amount every hour. That's not enough. All these women, black women that are disappearing in, in these major cities like Detroit and Chicago, 21 of them going missing in 30 days. And they're not, it's, it's just not relatable or what, you know, women being attacked on the, on the, in Walmart, women being attacked on the bus for just no good reason. This woman was driving down the street. The man came outside and shot her in the head and said he got tired of people driving down his street, especially women. Okay. That ain't enough. That ain't, that ain't it. You don't think that? I don't is that think fear mongering is going to gonna work. It, oh, think, this are, these are true stories. This ain't, I'm not trying to fear monger. I'm trying to tell someone to get a husband so you can move differently. So because to actually, oh, what Sherelle just told us exactly what women think. So take that small outburst. She's been quiet the whole time. She felt a need to insert. Aaron, that, right? you, oh, well, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me finish my sentence. So 
what that means is I, I don't think my fear monger is going to work ties right into what cheeky was saying because they need something tangible to know it's real they they, they, they don't understand that this stuff is real until it's too late. And they don't believe there's a such thing as too late because they even redesign too late. I see women having children at 45. Like they redesign everything. Everything is a redesignable. Like, like they don't redesignable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because everything. No, see, that's what y'all think. You try to, you, you, people are always trying to redefine marriage. They are trying to redefine traditional. You are exactly right. I was like, no, it's just not what it is. But even Sherelle, women. Sure, oh, yeah. Oh, God. You're right. What what pronoun are you identifying with today? Them or they? But wait a minute, Sherelle, I got a question. I want to say this to you and I want you to go ahead and answer. Um, that was a not for me to tell you that was not fear mongering. These are things that I actually hear and see on TikTok and on the news and other places. I just don't think that as women, we're actually relating to those things as it being uh, an issue of where we're living right now or what's going on. I don't think we're getting that that's the energy of where we're going on. You got to remember something. There is an energy out there that women are totally disrespectful and not all minds can handle that. Not all minds can handle that. So sometimes we have people that are not mature enough. There's mental illness. There's a lot of different things going on and people will lash out at people that they seem or deem to be their enemy. I'm not saying it's right by no means. I'm not even it's terrible actually I don't, I don't like it every time i hear about something like this i'm hoping and praying a woman get a husband so she can move different i'm even a woman in home depot in the middle of the day working there's nothing wrong with her working at home depot but i'm saying to myself God, if she had a darn husband she probably didn't have to be at work this man almost kidnapped her in the middle of home depot it's know, just me talking you know, it may not be real but i'm just saying what women hear when you say get you a husband they hear you think a husband can fix anything that that's what they hear like they they believe that a husband ain't all that like it's good but i mean come on now he can't save you from this he what if he what if he go away I, what what happens then they they don't believe a husband is as valuable as you believe it to be so well i but you know what that says too that also says that they're not hitting on anything see i think i'm darn near great so the man i'm attached with he gonna be the bomb also and I'm gonna make sure he understands that, babe, you the bomb all the time. That's just how really I'm gonna feed, that's how I'm gonna feed into him because I'm not gonna be with a piece of man. That's crazy. I'm not a piece of woman. So what? Who else am I gonna be sharing my life with? That's crazy. Why would you? Why would you dog the man that you sleep with? Give your car to, uh, whatever you know, share your life with. Oh, why would you dog that man? It's, it's not about. It's not even a man about the valuable. Man. Well, it's now we're now we're, it's not. So they don't find men valuable for marriage. Right. They don't. The concept of marriage to women today it's is gone. not even so like it's not about men when it comes to marriage. It's about marriage itself. They think mm -hmm. marriage is not beneficial to them at all. Right. Mm -hmm. They're quick to pull up this article that says men benefit more from men marriage. benefit more than women. And then I can find another article, which I have and I do have it in the tuck. So, so whenever they say that, I can just pull it up that women benefit more. Mm -hmm. So it's subjective. Right. But it doesn't matter. Because they'll pick the one that goes, marriage is not a benefit to me. It only makes me a slave and it only benefits you. Right. Mm -hmm. And so their viewpoint on marriage is if it's not for me, if, if I don't benefit from it, why would I do it? Now, when it comes to men as a whole, their viewpoint is he's good for penis. And if he got enough money, he's good for penis and money. But they have found a way to circumvent marriage by going, I don't need a man for marriage. I just need a man for sex. And mm -hmm. we get to the point now, if you're not good at that, I don't even need you. I got a rose and a girlfriend. And they, they've circumvented the and money. And it don't go down. It don't I go down. Sure they get that it child out down. because they still can live a good life as long as they get a child by a man with some money. This is why they always say, I want a man with money. Not because they want to be with him, because if they leave him and they get their child, there's money coming into the home. That's their strategy. Ultimate strategy is make sure I don't have to deal with the impacts of life totally by myself and if by myself i mean if i have to deal with a man i will but if he think he's gonna tell me what to do i just take the money because the money will supplement for not having a man there and i can still do what i want so ultimately men are equal money if you don't have no money you're not a man because they're just viewing you as i can deal with a man i like relationships but 
they they have a uh escape route which is normally hide money that's what they've been told but they're gonna lie and act like they don't know what i'm talking about but we all know the truth because i've seen it professionally at a high levels so i'm just gonna tell you now if you do leave me and we have a child i'm winning still because i'm gonna take your money and use it for our child in our home that you're not in and I'm going to go get the ding ding from another man because I need to feel good because I got needs to. And thank you for the money. I, I hear what you're saying and I, I see. But I just think that women have not had good examples of uh, husbands or wives. And again, I don't tell a man what to do. I'm only working on the women. If we raise our standards and we preserve ourselves, we can get the husbands that we we dream about you know, that we want that will be there for us that we can share our life with. Because I happen to think, I happen to think what they're doing as single women is not good either. I really think a lot of them are up at night crying, lonely. Um, the rose has ran out of batteries, probably done, you know, gave them what you call that burns and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, that not going down ain't good. You know how that go. The girlfriend, they fighting with her too. So, you know, I don't think that's a way of living either. I don't think they like that either. So why not give a man a chance that really can be into you, that loves you and cares for you, that you can also share your life with? If you actually know your role as a wife and are willing to do so. But it almost seems like this. And we're going to get to this last super chat. And I'm going to let y'all go because I have things to do. Um, this is what it seems like. It almost seems like for whatever reason, our men, as in black men mostly, have a some kind of scarlet letter <laughs> all over their face and chest and everywhere. It's almost like a big red flag. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And none of you all are any good. And, 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 and to be with you, I have to sacrifice something instead of seeing, like you said, Aaron, the value in you. But again, that goes back to, for me, it goes back to the woman that I am. If I deem myself valuable, then the man that be with me, he's going to have value also. So again, that goes back to women working on themselves as far as I'm concerned, I'm not saying that men don't have things to do. That's just not for me to tell them tonight. Aaron, this is how it needs to be. I'm you sorry. When you want to work on themselves, they don't. They want you to be the problem so they don't have to focus on their issues. That's but guess really what? what I'm not talking to them. So you're not talking to 90%? You can talk about 10. Exactly. I'm just talking to the 10. If that's what it takes, then the t then guess what? That 10 is going to get a little contagious because, you know, we talk about how influential things can be. And then maybe another 10 start acting a little better. They see their girlfriend over there smiling. You know how it go. If your girlfriend's smiling, you wonder why she's smiling. What her SP, doing? SP, they keep calling you mammy. What, what are you, what, oh, you that, what that, to me? Who, 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 said, uh, who said that? The Listen, you know what? Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Listen. One of the people that said it is actually married. Oh, really? Okay. So she 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 married the wrong one, I guess. I don't you know. Can't say that. Or either she married. What, or she, I can't say what. what. Wait a minute. I can't. Wait a minute. Hold on. I can't say what. As we here's what I'm saying. When, okay. When I'm saying you can't say that, I'm saying okay. that's the women in their brain are thinking. This woman that called you a mammy is married. Mm -hmm. You're She's married. married. It's mm -hmm. the same thing to, to them. Mm -hmm. They don't see the difference because y'all have this to them that you all have the same outcome. Well, well, let me I'm tell you what. No, no, we don't. Let me tell you what the Bible calls them. They call them silly women. See, because silly women, <laughs> it is written. It's true. Silly women will keep young girls single and see, you know what? It's almost an abomination. Let me tell you why. They'll go lay up underneath their man every night. They'll have their man paying a significant amount of their bills every month. But they'll tell another young girl, don't you do that. Don't you be with that man. He ain't no good. This, and he ain't no good there. But they constantly laying up under a man every night. Guess what? That's what a single, that's what a silly woman will do for you. See, I happen to be a smart woman. And I, I, I don't mind sharing. I don't have a bum for a husband. I'm not lacking. So, you know, I am what I am. So ultimately... Ultimately, this is the issue. Now, I'm going to let y'all rock with it. The black man is desired by the black woman, but the image of black men are not that they are ahead of black women. The viewpoint of what women, because they study op, they study visually, right? They see it. They go, what is the image of black men? Oh, we're better than them. We buy more homes than them. Our net worth is better. We're, oh, we're Listen, they don't view their man 
as better than them, which is a requirement for women. I know y'all don't like the term better, but I have to speak in y'all language. If the black man's image is not viewed as they are better than them women, then those women by default think that they're not good men. And I don't know how do we get past that because that imagery is not changing anytime soon. That's a Look, fact. It don't have to change because life will grow you up and show you exactly what you're going to be and what you're going to get. You have to make the changes, right? So if they're not willing to conform to what God has made them, you know, they're going to live that hard life. And it's OK. Some people will. But and I chose have not a white to. woman. And you're going to get you another white woman. Ain't nothing wrong with that, chicken. You're going to have a white woman and a baby mama. But listen, I chose not to live that life. I chose to live a life. You, you choose to be satisfied. You know, they choose to be unhappy. Ain't no way in the world I'd be running around here calling some other woman a bee or a mammy that does something different than what I do. I would not be even concerned about that woman. Why would you even be concerned about that woman? She's doing something different. See, in other words, somebody said it earlier. I think it might have been Aaron. Aaron, was it you that said it's because it looks different and it's better? They want to talk about it. Who was that? Who was that? Well, one of y'all said it, but either yeah. way. Uh, yeah, I think it was me. You're right. So, I mean, you know, there's something different. And I, I want everybody to understand that. I am different. Uh, and I keep that in mind. Again, I would say this. Being a wife is an exclusive club. Not everybody would be a part of it. Not everybody will take on that mindset. And guess what? I never judge my husband or my relationship based on what my grandma and my mama did. But both of them were married to death. So I still had that example. So that is what it is. But let me read this super chat. Thank you so much, Jack, for your $20 super chat. He says the way the world is makes it impossible for any woman to be considered a good woman without having a lower, lower to lower the bar for what a good woman is. Every man today has to settle because modern women are selfish and no good people. No, you don't. Don't do it. Jack, do not settle. Keep your standards and um, mm -mm, don't don't do that. Have your standards. And if the woman wants to be with you, then she will be that woman. If not, keep it moving. Don't but don't men are, dare. Men are practical. I talk to me and Cheeky talk all the time. He's like, man, bro, I don't know how, man, I don't know where I'm going to find, hey, bro. Like, like he, he, and, and willing he, to compromise. He, 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 no, wait, wait, before you say that. And he might have what I believe the ability to die on his principles. I believe it, right? But he's also pragmatic and logical. He knows that I have to be willing to adjust. I'm a man. I, I have to be willing to do things. Just the pragmatic, just of life, what it requires. Okay, what, no Chiki, what would you be? What would you be willing to adjust on? Just give me one thing: the money issue. The biggest thing is these hoes, man. Ain't no, nobody I'm saying, but, I'm but, saying uh, SB, be, you will be I miserable SB, if you're not thing, that. Uh -uh. As be the first thing that I want. All the the first thing is I would want a virgin woman because again, my my qualifications aren't that that are above or lower it's mm -hmm. equal. all okay. of these women you saying they want the equal so do i I'm, i agree I'm with that so the first compromise is i gotta accept somebody that's probably got smashed by two to three dudes but you don't have to you just gotta get you a younger woman Chica, you don't you don't have to settle for that get your listen no every woman ain't coming out the window already SB, I'm gonna ask you one simple question. What do you think the average age people are losing their virginity? Just oh, out of probably curiosity. about average age, probably about 18. 17. Mm -hmm. 17. Okay. I would I would say it's 16. Statistically, it, it, statistically, it, it, it's 17. I, I know statistically it's 16, but remember, some things is under listen. Oh, and by the way, how I qualify now. Here it is. How also how I qualify uh what's uh intercourse. If you look up the word intercourse, oh yeah, that's that includes cool. that includes oral fingers, like Nobody it should be. be. So should that be. excludes even so more that excludes people. Even more people. Well, I, I, listen, I agree. I don't think women should be out there walking. I don't think women should be walking. But guess what, Cheeky? That's only as long as you're preserving yourself. So again, right? But that's my point, security boss. You asked okay. what I'm willing to compromise on. I've okay. already got to compromise on the very first thing that I maintain. No, no, she said don't compromise. I'm saying don't. don't. Your status, and I was just proving to her that you'll die. 
<laughs> okay, well, I, I am willing to die. I am willing to die. No, and I'm that's what die. I said too. Like, I'm, but like, you also I'm willing to die a virgin because of how, of my beliefs. Like I, I agree with that. If you're willing to I, you, listen, stand on it. But I do think you can find a woman that is a virgin. Now, I ain't, there's not many of them. You know, it's not going to be many. You know security it. Boss, but if you will look, look, security boss, this is what he means by pragmatic. I understand that somewhere in the world there's some twenty. I want to uh, because it's still an age range, right? Because if okay. I say too young of an age, yeah, yeah, don't do that. You do realize, mm -mm, you do do realize that. they're going to say something crazy about yeah, me. Yeah, don't do that. I so got now you. I gotta, now I gotta, now we gotta put the age range from twenty one. And you think women ain't having sex by twenty one? No, listen, listen. I definitely think women are having sex, but I'm not saying where there's cheeky, there's an equivalent. That's all I'm saying. Okay, but I'm not right. telling you. Listen, if that's something that you want to compromise on, I wouldn't do it. But if it is and you find yourself in a position, but guess what? I don't even know what type of woman would get your attention that you would want to lose your virginity with and compromise yourself. So, OK, so that's the like I said, I'm willing to compromise on that. Right. Okay. Right? Because I'm pragmatic. I understand that most women out here just getting smashed. So I, I just got to accept that. I'm sorry. That's just what it is. They whores out here and then they get reformed. And I understand. Got you. So I understand I got to accept potentially that. Right. Then the next step is, hey, what does this person think about themselves? Are they introspective? Right. Do they self-reflect? Are, are they introspective? Do they believe what, where is their spirituality? at? Right. They believe in crystals, sages and signs. What, do, what am I supposed to do with that? They are so ready. They are so ready to go recharge a stupid crystal that I can't touch because I could taint it. Mind you, they just got finished giving somebody some crazy, crazy guac, all right? Guac, guac. And they crystal. They, not, they, they, they have just given a man some crazy head. And mm -hmm. I can't touch their crystals because I'll taint it. But they got to recharge it in the moonlight. And then, then once you make it past that, let's say, let's say the sage works and everything's clean. Now they got to figure out my sign. You know, the most common question women ask is, not who are you as a person? What's your sign? And then they stupid ass is in there going, we're not compatible. Why? Because you you're a Sagittarius <laughs> and I'm a <laughs> Gemini. And it's like, what? wait a minute. So you're telling me, you know, we're not compatible for that? Absolutely. I know for a fact the last guy that I had, he was a Sagittarius, Sagittarius thing. And, and, a and Sagittarius? I'm a you just put something and I'm a, together. And I'm, Whatever I don't care. I don't know. Like, I said a tourist. These women are security boss. She the can, thing that I'm like looking for is crazy though. The that sounds like that illness. What do you think most of them have? Yeah. <laughs> when you go to really, when we talk about different. women with trauma, do you think most women don't have trauma? No, I do think I think most women who are sexually active have had some form of trauma. I actually do. So I'm so, agreeing with you. So now, so now no, I'm not, not agreeing only, with you on that size and and, and okay, wonder look, and the crystals. So I would look me personally. I would like somebody that's psychologically well, right? I would like somebody that's decent in the mind. Most of them crazy for real, because like you said, most of them out here getting piped down already got their three to five bodies that I have to accept because three to five bodies is relatively low in today's time. Right, so isn't that the five, average? Isn't sad, seven it. average overall? It doesn't matter. What I'm saying is you, you admit it just like I admit it. Every sexual encounter and, messes and with your brain. Right? It could, yeah. it could, could mess yeah. with you psychologically. So yeah. now I got to deal with the repercussions of your 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 um stupid decisions. And I got to deal with the fact that you don't believe in a, a real God. And I got to do these people are uh, security boss for, for wait people a minute, like wait a minute, though. You just you just went very extreme. That may not all be true. Come on now. That's just I mean, don't okay. Wait a minute. Okay. I understand. How many people in the church? I, I don't even go to church. Somebody always trying to put me in a church. I look, it ain't the church ain't where it is. Where is it, y'all? Come on, listen, listen. If you want to go to church, it's a good place to fellowship. Okay, we understand that. But cheeky, understand this. You went very extreme. Um what I'm saying is I just think that you should not lower your standards or sacrifice your standards. There are some things, I mean, if it's sex is one thing that you're saying, you realize the older you get, it may be harder to find a virgin. I get that. We understand that. That could be the same with a, with a woman, with a kid, you know, uh, as, as a woman gets older, her likelihood of finding a man that doesn't have a child, it does get harder to do. So, so a woman may want to sacrifice on that, but as far as her spirituality, 
her being in a relationship with her creator, those are things that you do not sacrifice on. Or you will get you, you will get something don't wrong. Lower his, don't lower the bar. Do you know where his bar is? Like, like, like seriously. <laughs> I mean, that's his bar. That's there who he is. is. Man. I'm he pretty sure that he's offering what he's asking. I'm not I, that I'm not arguing, but <laughs> listen, Miss Beth said he didn't exaggerate. Oh, you mean about the crystals and the sage? And I'm stuff? not joking. No, about listen, that no, I'm, I'm, listen. Again, I'm about, I agree I'm with about you. I listen, I agree with you about some women, but I see women and I know women. Okay, well, then it might be another factor there because I get that it has to be an attraction also. I get it. I get it. I'm not saying it's going to be, be easy. Smart. Oh, man, not, I, I agree. I'm not saying that there's a lot of women there for you. I get it. But there are women out there that want exactly what you want and exactly who you are, Cheeky. Now, you might have missed your opportunity already. Have you ever thought about that? Yep. Um, thought about it. So I've thought about those things. And the thing is, they're not black. So it wouldn't work. It doesn't matter. Ain't nobody. No, 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 no. It's a problem. Woman. Here's the here's the problem, SB. That's the thing. Once you apparently once you date one or kiss one white girl, you can't go back to the black community unless you because you just the worst guy in the world. But what I'm saying is those missed opportunities, right? Those missed opportunities are very rare. One because it's not like it's a lot of women that qualify with any of the standards that I. Oh have. wait a minute, hold on. See, um, fantasy Allen girl. Girls' boobs. She's so confused. Um, SB was shaking ass in the 1960s. She's holy Lord Jesus, sister. Girl, you are so confused. Don't that's do it. Don't do it. Who? That's a troll. It's not I the real I wasn't, even, I wasn't even born. <laughs> I wasn't even born back then. But we're gonna let you have it. We're gonna we're gonna cheeky. Thank you so much. That's not her. Okay, we we'll leave it alone. Okay, but cheeky, I understand what you're saying. Um, totally. But it's still you have an equivalent. God didn't do it that way. He, he made it the way he was supposed to make it. Now, we do have women and men that have fallen completely off. But if you're saying that you haven't, you may have already met your woman or your wife that you should have proposed to or whatever. And you just missed you missed out. Now, will you get another one? Hey, who knows? I don't know how many you're supposed to have in your lifetime. I don't know that. But. <laughs> You might only supposed to have one good one. I don't know. So you not you, not you trying to use God as look. I don't care. I've already accepted. I don't mind. You ain't like, got to care about God. God gonna be his. God gonna no, be God. No, 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 no. What, I'm, what I'm saying is right. Kevin Samuels um, wasn't the only person that told women you can die alone. He told men that as well. Now, I've accepted mm -hmm. that may be my outcome. I'm not mad mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. I'm just saying, whenever we start having conversations about standards and what what people say they want. Most of the people that ask for those standards do not apply for it. You want to know why? Because it's scary dealing with somebody that actually meets your standards. It's very, it's very, very intimidating when you as a woman find a man that is exactly what it is that you want and plays every single role that you need him to play physically. Uh, as physic okay, now physically aesthetic. is a preference. Standards right, but, what are different. Is, but what I'm saying is his physical aesthetics match what you want. His mental capability, mental capabilities exceed yours or exceed the point that you want. His emotional intelligence matches you as well. Those things require you to be in the mirror and look at yourself. And then that's when a lot of women start going, oh, crap. Like, I can't do this. I've heard women out their own mouth say he's a good guy, but I just can't, I'm not ready for him. And then after they say they're not he, that they're not ready for him. Somebody else comes along and then they say the exact same thing. This is not uncommon for a good person to experience this. Same thing happened with women. There are men who are absolutely trash, meet an excellent woman, and they know that I can't pick this woman. I'm not where I need to be. So what do they do? They pass her by. Right. right? These, these are the things that happen for both good men and women. I don't think good women don't exist. What I'm saying is I have to understand that. Even the good women aren't perfect. So I've accepted. Look, if I meet a good woman and she's not a virgin, that's not a problem. You want to know why? Because it's my my viewpoint on, vir on virginity is not for the, the sake that the man is for a red pill. It's literally for a, a understanding of and a viewpoint of sex. It's not uh, this shallow. I just don't want nobody to have her because I want to be the only one to have her. That's not my viewpoint on, on, on virginity. It's more like, what did you think about yourself? What? How did you like? How did you view sex? How did you view who you were as a person. Why do you just give that to somebody?
but people have to learn. So I'm willing to be gracious enough to be like, look, three times. The first time you figured it out, second time, God dang. The third time, Jesus, anything past three is like, <laughs> what, if, what if she comes and says it was good all three times? What you gonna do then? I'm gonna tell if you have to pass on up. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how. Oh. Gonna do. <laughs> I mean, you're not willing to, look, I am I'm one of those people, my pride and my ego does not is not coming away with me learning from anybody, including a woman. Right. If a woman says this is all good, that means I need to learn. That's it. All right, so listen, guys, let me do these super chat. It's time for me to get out of here. Y'all have been perfect for me tonight. I appreciate everything that y'all do and say. And um, no, I don't want to do that. No, I'm going to go ahead and read the super chats and we're going to get out of here. But let me, Red, this is my last one. Red, thank you so much for your $4.99 super chat. There's a lot of down low men. Mm, August Asina, is he really down low? Was a revelation. Oh, by the way, are these men married? Otherwise, your opinions. Oh, no way. Love you. Love your show, SB. Thank you so much, Red. Listen, if you all have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that and make sure you give us a thumbs up on your way out. But I appreciate you guys. And Sherelle, I want you to leave us with some kind words and wife loving life type. Can you do that for me, Sherelle? <laughs> Sherelle, don't beat me up. It's <laughs> your face, Cheeky. He done read away. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. <laughs> First of all, thank you for having me. Um, I honestly think that everybody just needs to deal with people on an individual basis. I don't actually, like, for as people in our age, I don't think we created the culture that we in right now, you know, but we definitely influenced by it. So a, a majority of people you meet not going to be perfect or nothing like that. You just deal with them on an individual basis. But um, I think somebody said it. It was either Cheeky or Aaron. But it's a humanity issue. It's not a black issue. It's an American issue. Consumerism, FOMO, the social media, all the stuff that's coming, just the death of tradition. And to be honest, it is going to be hard because it's like a shot in the dark at this point or whatever. So the best thing you could do is just deal with people. Be the best. Per First of all, have yourself together. You have to do a lot of self-reflection and make sure you're self-aware of you and who you are and what you want and then deal with people on an individual basis and not on social media because I think that YouTube is definitely Sparta. This is mm. a place where men and women battle. This is the battlefield. So you might not get the most sincere person on here because everybody's trying to say something for shock, jockness, or just, just to be right. Because it'd be married men who'd be talking the most stuff about women. It'd be married women who'd be talking the most stuff about men. And it's like they go home and they be happily married, but they got this vitriol that they spitting on the internet. So this can't be the this can't be the common ground where people like coming to meet. Ever so often, you have a security boss channel where we can have genuine conversations sometimes. Cause she can't Aaron be lying, but um, oh, are you talking about me? Oh my God, <laughs> you know. But uh, can you tell her to be encouraging? She's not doing it. <laughs> what? She did. I, I am did. encouraging. <laughs> she did good. She look. She said, "Y'all, this is a place where y'all can come. Nobody's arguing, fussing, and nobody cut y'all head off. And y'all said everything mm -hmm. you want to say. You know, so it is. But for the most part, this is a battlefield. So go outside in the real world and be self aware and deal with people on an individual basis. And Chicky and Aaron, stop trying to bully me because I'm nice to y'all." <laughs> Y'all be trying to bully her all the time. Oh, wow. Have okay, you now. seen anybody be able to bully Sherelle? No, but I, I'm, 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 I'm team Sherelle, do you, though. I'm team Sherelle. Do you, do you, do you yeah, it's team Sherelle. Hold on. SB, do you think we bully her today? Just no, I don't, but I'm still team Sherelle. This is, look, this is as far as my sisterhood go. It goes from here <laughs> to here. here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> team Sherelle, okay? Team Sherelle. <laughs> Don't ask me nothing else, right? But Chiki, tell me, give me your final words, guys, because I got to get out of here. Y'all know I have to go to sleep. They done put me in the 60s already. Um, so my final words is, um, I, although it could seem like I'm doom or pill, I do have some type of hope, right? I hope that the aliens come and then we'll get back in order. <laughs> I hope I hope that, um, I, I do really, I really do hope that these things can be fixed. Um. At this point, I think that it's more individualistic than ever before. So, like, as an as an individual, I'll do what I can to make sure my outcomes are okay, at wh whoever I can find, right? 
even though majority of the people just won't meet my standards, I don't mind being pragmatic, right? So that's all I'll say. Thank you for having me on the channel. SB, SB Nation, security boss, Mr. Boss, the man behind the, the screen. Appreciate you, sir. Appreciate you. I got you, a question, uh, though. Uh, Wait a minute, Mr. Boss. Yeah. Wait a minute. I got a question. So listen, if I said to you guys today, this goes to Aaron and Cheeky, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm still team Sherelle, right? But if I said, you know what, I'm really believing what you all are saying right now. Marriage is no longer going to be the same. Um, I'm with y'all. What 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 would my tomorrow look like? What would I be doing tomorrow? As far as my channel go, <laughs> if, if how, how would I proceed on if I accepted what you and Aaron have said? As far as marriage is over, you didn't say it exactly like that, but I'm saying this is a new world game per se, and I accepted that for my norm. What would my tomorrow look like? Me now, I'm the advocate for marriage and men and women loving each other and being together. What would my tomorrow look like? What would my next show be like? Uh, you'd be like the dating coaches that get fed up with women and just leave. <laughs> Quit. <laughs> so that's what y'all trying to do. Y'all trying to run me away from me? <laughs> y'all nah, trying to run me I'm, away. As you can see, I haven't been on my own channel because they these weirdos are running me away. So. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't feel I don't feel it that way. Um, I actually appreciate what you all bring. Um the knowledge that you all bring and how you all see it. And I think a lot of times, like you all said, that women don't see it that way. So I can share it in my own way to women and still correct us or still offer examples of how we can be better women um, and still do the same thing. Cause it's still, it still means that we still need to achieve some sort of uh, togetherness or respect for each other before we can get anything done. That has to happen. Absolutely has to happen. So go ahead, Aaron. I'll leave everybody with this. I believe that we must adjust to the current times. No matter how difficult, no matter how hard it is to accept it, it must be done. We're not going back to the past. I'm, I'm an advocate and staunch believer that there's never been a time in history where we reverted and went back to the past. We are always going to be current and then going into the future. And with that being said, men, Women have stated uh, what they think of you, um, how they plan to deal with you, what your value is to them. And it's no longer uh, advantageous for us to be sacrificial lambs for the sake of just because we're men. Uh, they don't care that just because you're men. And I can in good faith uh, concede to the world in which men did just men things. So at this point, I'm advocating for all men to extract the proper value for you being a man. If a woman wants protection and provision, you must charge her to the highest degree. There will be a charge for this. I don't think we should no longer give it away just because of duty, because it's no longer respected, admired, and uh, gratitude is no longer given. And so you must operate and understand that women in current times don't care about none of your duty and none of that stuff. And even if you want to harden back to, oh, no, but it, it's just a man thing, don't get played. Don't fall into the, the prideful thing and thinking that it'll go away. This is real. It's serious. These issues that exist are real and they're permeating in society. Women are not going back to not making money. They're just going to make more money. Okay, that's how it works. And so they're going to view you as competition, and you're valuing how much money you make in a large majority of women because they are controlled by social media, controlled by imagery. And as black men specifically, we really don't control that imagery. And they don't even look at us as per se better than them and their views because they're buying all the houses and they making more money and all that good stuff. So men properly charge for your protection and your provision. Uh, and your guidanceship. So if you guide women, charge for that. Because I'm going to just be honest with you. Uh, it, mm -hmm. it is a skill to be able to navigate in this world and to navigate for more than one person and potentially a family. And most men are not currently able to do that. So you are even more invaluable. So how they want to have their value, make sure you acknowledge it and identify your value. We charge you. And with that, we'll see you on the next show. OK, so listen, I'm going to sum this up. I'm going to take a little bit from everything all of you all said, because I agree with a lot of it. I'm like Sherelle. It's time to turn the YouTube off. Get out in the world. Meet someone. 
become more socially involved in someone's life be able to touch somebody get to know them be more authentic this thing right here is not real in that fashion <laughs> excuse me y'all now i'm going over here to cheeky cheeky you are not gloom and doom but marriage is still an option it's 50 percent, and marriage is what you make it find a nice woman your preference your standards marry her it don't take five years it could take only 90 days you can get married in six months me and Moss, me and mr boss did 28 years later we're still here so it can be done it all depends on what you want it actually depends on the players the players is what makes it it's not the marriage marriage never has changed it's the players always the players so 50 percent still happening let's hold on to that now aaron aaron i agree with most things you said I don't think you should settle. I think you should have your standards. You should actually make them higher. Those women that cannot conform to what you want for a wife, dismiss them. Don't bother to talk to them. But your payment for being a man that offers provision, protection, authority, guidance, and all those things you mentioned is a good woman, a wife. And that is where I come in. I am willing to make sure I give an example for those women who want to be wise because men deserve that, especially a man that is offering those things that you said. So payment for that is a God-fearing, good wife. And that's what you should look for. So I hope everybody heard all that. And y'all have a good night. And I will see y'all soon. Peace out. Thank you. I've been lost in my thoughts, and my thoughts they too are scared to usher you off. Sorry, Ma, I just thought you were my world. Now you're not, and I'm just sitting, smoking, sloping in the days, because my days ain't been the same since I drove here. I remember the way you wrote letters in blue ink. You and me was in love. Think about what your crew think. I know your moms probably think I'm a bastard. Your pops probably want to beat my to death and take up in my casket. But I got sick of fighting, bickering, fussing over nothing, cussing. Instead of been watching the death of discussions that we once had, days that we once spent in the backseat of our cars, we the poets at sunset. It's funny how love can fall out the foreground, get pushed into the back of your mind. We used to twist his bluff and laugh and relax. Are you crying? And I'm trying to find the reasons, so I ask, does forever ever happen? Or is it always fade to black? I can't say, no, I always gotta go. Playing house, this ain't a home with my soul on the road. I can't stay. No, I always gotta go. Playing house, this ain't a home with my soul on the road.